Uh, for some strange, it keeps saying I need to host. Uh, just fix that. Oh, right, the marker to show him the tank. Why? I didn't do anything. All right, whenever you're ready. All right. Hello, welcome to World of Why Warcraft. Why do I have every marker? I'm going okay, to be... There we go. Some friends got me to play in some of the dungeons with them, and I'm playing the tank, so... And I am absolutely terrible, so enjoy watching me pull too much... Uh, j yeah, go ahead and pull a bunch of them. <clears throat> getting uh, myself and everyone else killed. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, so may as well have fun, right? Ah. Alright, so I have to hope it'll all work out. I stun all of them. That guy I can provoke. Assuming I want to stay out of the lines of fire there. We have 1% fire resistance. Should work out. Let's make or break that one percent. Yep. That's a lot of ant oh, people. Val munitions that does it. Wait. Okay, Val munitions. I'll have to keep an eye out. We don't worry. We're the Volpera. We have the one percent fire resistance. Clearly, we're this is made for us. Yeah. Just ignore the, the doors. Uh, clearly. Oh my! There's a bunch of them over in that door. Saboteur so Kilptak. Uh, uh, he's the first boss. Yeah. Okay. Um, Adventure guy. Stable munitions. They will not explode unless. Oh gosh, there is a lot of details here. Um, when he reaches seventy percent and thirty percent HP, he detonates all the explosive charges currently in play. Uh. And he's aggroed. Oh crap! Um, oh. Well, we so have the general idea of what to watch out for. Oops! Hit crane kick instead of uh, expel harm. All right. The good news is those uh, munitions won't go off until something fiery hits them, like those fireballs going throughout the room. It seems. Uh, he sets the. Yeah, he's, he sets off the explosives. Uh, You've been sabotaged. At, at certain health thresholds. Right, here we are. Sabotage. The fire seems to originate from where I am. Oh well, it wasn't too bad. Alright, now which way, which way? North, it seems. Uh, this way. Mm -hmm. Another strange. boss. Another boss almost immediately. Help, Gorgol. Help! They all just jumped off, okay. I think the idea that they were being pulled off. I can at least stun them a little bit. Give us some time. Okay, I probably should have brought them out of that red smoke stuff since I think that was causing a dot. See anything happen here? No. Just continue along? Okay. It looks like they're just... They got this handled, so we can let them worry about that. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. That's not right. Oh, is that up there? Is this related to... No? 
Okay. Just, 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 just off the is. Uh, give it a moment. Oh, wow. Oh, it just knocked you down. Ah. Uh, hey, Chroma. Yeah. Uh, right. My game froze. Uh, what just happened? Uh, uh I think I Blizzard, think uh, Billion uh, Blizzard programming happened. If you're still crashed at it. Unfortunately, my pick can only take one at a time. Meh. Okay, tanks alive again, I think. I'm alive again, yeah. Oh, hi. What, what did you do, Robin? Uh, I may have killed every single one of them. Kill every last one of them. Fun. Oh, are we actually supposed to go this way over here? Oh, um, that seems to be a way down. Oh, there is, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, we're probably supposed to, to go here down. after, but... I wonder if I teleport and reach that clear that gap. Uh, then again? Ancient. Okay, no, there's an invisible wall there. Of course, of there course is. the invisible wall would be there. Wait, is it, can you guys not go down there? Oh, oh. So it's just dead end. Okay. Let's go. That's kind of dumb. Um. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Target. I could have done worse. Oh, I see. We're supposed to use uh, this. This is an elevator. They'll destroy the gate. But the have oh, of course. Why did you jump off? I thought I was. Um... What? Did, did it fall through? Hi. Don't worry, it'll, it'll flatten you when it lands on you. Uh, it might not, but I'm not willing to test it with World of Warcraft's inconsistencies. I'm just don't confused why it fell through it. Yeah, well, I mean, there's obvious gaps, and Volpera are pretty tiny. Imagine goblins could probably fall through think... as well. No, I, I don't. There's think... no. I think I just got screwed by uh, wild programming. Maybe. Good Maybe. Dog. Um... Alright, yeah, we're supposed to fight this guy first. Great time. Strike your dog charges a nearby enemy and devours them, doing uh, damage time. Uh, he has Impaling Strike, which will deal 50% of the health of his current target. That is current health, not max health. Uh, when he reaches 70% and 30% health remaining, he strafes platforms with fire bombs this result the resulting flames uh, deal damage to enemies within it within them uh, I see, I see. Fly, there's the disruptors which continuously bombard the platform with bombs so adds uh, and, and strikers uh, will attack players on the platform uh, during the strike runs, so I guess there's ads when he does the strike runs. Pretty much. Alright, well, we were all set. I'll turn your corpses from this tower! Too far away. I must 
Get closer. I must get closer. I can still shock him, that's good. Why did I think that would Just barely out of range of the uh, fire. Prey time. Oh dear. Man, it really loves the taste of Jasper, apparently. You don't have a target. That's what he gets. Here we are. He was totally into it. I don't know what this is supposed to accomplish. I don't know either, but it looks like we're supposed to do that. Maybe we were supposed to use that during your fight. Uh, I don't think they were highlighted then. They weren't. But there's nothing alive there, so uh, maybe I'm guessing someone killed the activated they killed already, I don't know. Guess we go back down then, or...? Seems so. I have not done any of the Pandaria dungeons, so I'm completely blind on this. Well, except for the last one with that temple where we fought the uh, Dark Juju thing. Done it. Now all of China knows that the Huns are attacking. I see. Guess we're supposed to go this way. There's enemies that way, so I assume that's correct. I require a target. I didn't thought, didn't realize I was that close. From the Stand the green. Got it. Far away. Alright, good, that really helps. Yeah, if you're coming through is absolute godsend right now. I must get closer. There we are. Vicious ring. Not gonna say no to an upgrade on the rings front. Earth killer and haste is probably pretty good on hit on tank. 
paste is? Uh, versatility in particular. Oh yeah, versatility. Production. All right, versatility is determination from power sport team. Okay, yeah, it does a little bit of everything, so yeah, it's nice to have if I can't get agility. Uh, just pure uh, damage increase and half that as uh, damage decrease. Oh, I guess we go down this way now. It might be easier to just go down this way rather than the other way, which is probably gonna have a, an invisible wall for some reason. Um. Just follow the lines. Um. Hmm. Hmm. What'd you do? I'm fine. And we just wait here. Artillery. What happens if I put in the artillery? You're probably supposed to leave him over. Uh, oh, this sets me up. You gotta walk all the way back down, cause you... Oh, uh, oh. well, good news is we found out what that uh -huh. artillery did. No, that's the safe way to get back up. Yeah, that's the safest way to get back up. I wonder if people have to go back up. Final boss is right here. Yeah, I know. Right. But I'm wondering if he has like an ability that forces you to have to go back up. I guess in case you want, after you beat the boss, you want to go back up? Alright, let me check the adventure guide here. Is there anything we need to know about the Region here? Oh, God, it's so much crap. Let's ram the inner gate. Okay. He has an impervious carapace that reduces all damage dealt until players destroy his vulnerability. Uh, when he exposes his vulnerability... Players oh. can ride on his Thanks, head Poe. and attack it, destroying the vulnerability. He also uh, destroys the thing that makes him take 99% reduced damage. Alright, so yeah, it looks like we need to go on the head. I, maybe that's what the artillery's for? Uh, he does a headbutt where he charges towards the inner door, uh, and the impact of the headbutt inflicts uh, damage to enemies everywhere, it seems. It, seem it seems practically right wide. Uh, impacting the door also throws all enemies on his, uh, on the vulnerability, aka his head onto the ground. Um, eight enemies will join the fight from beyond the wall when one of them is reduced to 20% re remaining health. It can cast Hive Mind, increasing their attack speed of all the nearby ones by 25%. So I guess you want to AoE them down. You, you want to kill them. Uh, you want to kill them all together. Uh, he sounds like that. Yeah. All right. So we need to take care of the ads and get on top of his head. Does that mean we're supposed to jump, go back to the towers there, and jump on his head from there? Uh. It says to get on his head. Purvis Carapace, yeah. Cancelled. Just say at the top. Well, I guess if I need to, I could always grab a video or something. Even at Missa Pandera, they had instructional videos, right? I'm just gonna try going back up and seeing. Seeing if you can jump on his head. Yeah. Yeah. That would be weird though, because it's not like a thing that happens anywhere else in the game. Where you jump literally onto a model like this. There's not even like a flat spot on it, is there? Uh, uh these platforms are still in tangible you still can't get on them. Alright, so there's I can't tangible. imagine how you would jump on his head. Alright, so it's still uh, invisible walls there. Uh, there's probably something in the com It's probably you start the combat and then there's something obvious that shows up. That's Pro my problem. Alright, let's see how well we can do this thing. Try. Yeah, you should no, wait for me. Wait for there's a bunch of these along the edges, but we can't use those apparently. Alright. So do I just grab I'm on the way for the healer to get here. Oh, right. Probably a good idea for the whole party to get together before I jump right in. Okay, uh, I am back. Okay. 
Alright, so time to get his attention. No. I'm out of range. His weak spot is exposed. There he is. Random interact for artillery. Don't know what it does. Ah, it's full up, full up. Okay, so this is weak spot. Since I'm melee, this should be very easy. So I just need to attack this until it breaks. Yes, I don't. I don't get the weak spot at all. Uh, you'd have to uh, use the cannon. Yeah, have to use the cannons on the side. Yeah, go to the artillery and you'll load yourself into them. Reinforcements join the battle. Time to kill the ads. I'm on his weak spot. All right, you just attack that. I'll keep the ads' attention. I must get closer. Touch of death is a wonderful skill. Have I mentioned that? All right, if he starts charging, be sure to jump off the weak spot before he finishes ramming. I didn't jump off the weak spot, but uh. We got it. Yeah, we got it. Uh, weak spot it. Here we are. Carapus gone. Carapus is gone. Go. I'm out of range. I got my. He's got, he's got, attention's on me. You know what to do. Fixate. Okay, I guess it was good. I was the one who broke the carapus because it seems he's focused on whoever breaks it. Yeah, he's, break it. he's almost dead. Yeah, let's just take him out. Here we are. Here we are. Uh, you know what that cannon up there is for, probably? To get back to the top. Level 33, not bad. Oh, nope, she came down high. It's probably for like. I don't know if they had mythic plus uh, work as it did in Pandaria, but like for if you need to kill more ads. The wall must stand. Ooh, uh, what can I get with this? A back item? I should definitely go with uh, versatility. Move like a man. There we are. Oh boy, I can go invisible now. And I got true shot. Tranquil satchel of helpful good. You can go invisible? Page? Waste armor. Okay, that's a pretty good upgrade. We are the sword and the shadows. Couldn't have done that myself. I'll probably not. Be strong. Three, do I get anything? I have mind control now. Looks like I don't have anything new per se, but I do get Zen Meditation at 34, which could definitely be a situationally useful mitigation. Sixty percent mitigation, but ends if I'm hit by a melee strike or if I move. Oh, you want me to leave the instance? Yeah, I've done that. I grab a drink here real quick. I like how there's a human demon hunter over here. Uh, did you say a human demon hunter? Yep. Sitting in the middle of the Overmark. 
up, he left. I thought humans couldn't be demon hunters. Yeah, it was probably, well, I think it's one of the elf types or whatever. And the elf types can uh, be that time. No, when you highlight over it, it says what the race is. It's human demon hunter. Weird. A little weird, yeah. Alright, I should I'll probably. Assume it was an AI or something like that. Well, first things first, okay, let I me repair. Like the Pandera area better because you get a bag with the stuff in it. Pandera bag actually had stuff in it, yeah. I need to repair before we can do the next dungeon. Uh. Well, what do you mean? What yeah, do probably you doesn't need? It. So, Go. Right. I think my computer doesn't like that I'm streaming it and also uh, playing at the same time. I just turned it right back on. Your stuff. There we are. Good shape, too. Yeah, I figured you'd have to repair it if you uh, do it uh, often enough, you'd have your repair to be able to handle it fine. Yeah, hopefully. Was this the one we just did? Oh, no, this is... I don't think so, no. More quests are using the eyes and kill the foul boss, I'm guessing. Siege the news hotel. Yeah, the last one was Gate of the Setting Sun, so this one's very different. Still neat how we get smashed all the quests to do in the old, these older dungeons. Beware of a western wind. What's this stuff? It's sap. And it's gone. Are they getting drunk off it? Alright, let's grab these guys then. Oh, stunned. How am I encased in ammo? Oh, too far away. They are all over me. Successfully burned them with fire. I require a target. Give it the rest of the buff out of curious. Uh oh the resin flakes maybe? But you want to lay the dead I don't think you want it on you. Uh, okay, I, have yeah, I think it might be good to avoid getting the resin on you. That is a hell of a cooldown. What is it? I mean a duration. Oh. It's pretty easy to avoid, you just don't walk in it. I walk to the dungeon. Too far away. I don't have a target. 
because it increases the damage you deal. Inflicting 29 nature damage over one second to enemies who touch it. Touching the sap petal also causes it to shrink in size. Uh, when a player touches the sap petal, it causes the residue to attach to them. Uh, summon sap globules. Summon the sap, sap globules from the tree. They try to congeal with the sap petal, increasing the size, so people want to intentionally soak the sap petals. Detonate, uh, Zirjin. Attempt to detonate the sap puddles, inflicting damage based off the size of the puddle. So yeah, basically, uh, so puddles. Basically, we need to manage the size of the puddle to make sure it's not getting on us, but also it's not bit so big that when he detonates it, it'll be huge. All right. All right. No, basically, I should be recognizing that people are walking into them and them. All right. All right. A lot of you will soon wish you had come this way. Dagger, I can't use that. Unfortunate. Uh, it's a mage item anyway. It's what? It's a mage item. Ah. Uh, then yeah, I probably have to get my I'm 
fire a target. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on, why now? What? Oh, there's a new exit. Ah, so this is where the last few bosses are. I can't attack that target. Thanks for the save, but we're still stuck in the middle of the entire landed army. Look out there. Too many for us to take head on. Hmm. I have a crazy idea that just might work, but we'll need your help, heroes. Let's give these mantid a taste of their own medicine. Uh, what's uh, his plan? Is he... We're ready to defend. We're ready. Uh, I guess we should probably look up the boss fight, uh, the boss that is down there, because I assume that that's what that is. Commander Voljak, yeah. All right, let's take a look. Prisoners Li Chu, Li and Lo Chu, uh, the two other bears here, who I'm not talking at here, here. Position and prepare vantage tar kegs for use in battle. Players can throw the kegs of caustic tar onto the battlefield, inflicting on any unit standing within the tar uh, 200 nature damage, and reduces their movement speed by 50% and increases their damage taken by 10%. This effect stacks. Caustic Tar also removes any effect uh, from the target that increases movement or attack speed. Stage 1, bring it. Uh, Commander Vojak orders his forces to attack the player. Are we playing tower defense? It almost, I was about to say, doesn't it feel like something out of tower defense? Um... Polisher carries unstable explosives and explodes when damaged or killed, inflicting... Okay, so target the demolishers in particular because when they uh, explode, they hurt their allies too. I... Uh, yeah, all these minions appear to be just, like... Yeah, nothing they'll... Is particularly going on there. Stage 2. Uh, Commander Vojak enters the battle as his forces near defeat. Uh, he focuses and his will and determination increasing his attack speed by 10% every 2 seconds. His effect stacks, so I guess you have to kill him kind of quickly. Well, that Commander charges a random enemy player, dealing physical damage to all enemies he passed through. The strike also knocks back his current target. So, basically, if he targets you, uh, try not to get other people involved in it. I guess, yeah. So we need to spread out a bit? Yes. Immediately after doing a, bashing, a, a dashing strike, he begins to spin around and send blades outward, doing uh, a bit of damage to uh, everyone. It also removes the caustic tower effect, which I guess is still in play in this part of the fight. Hmm. Alright. So I guess we're just throwing tar on guys until he shows up. Lee and Lo, get the sap into position. Let's get this party started, shall we? Well, I will say these dungeons have been a lot more engaging than the battle Bring for Azeroth it, ones. Liz. The only one I'm really fine with is the Razan Temple, and that's largely because that one's pretty easy and not particularly Your frustrating to deal with. Be swift. I like the Temple of Sephiroth. Attack! Tear the flesh from their bones. Okay, so they, they swarmers are coming up the ramp. Use the cell oh. to slow them oh, down. Oh, there, there, only a couple of us can really do this. Oh, what the heck? This aiming is terrible. I have to leave that to you guys. I'll tank any that make it up here. Uh, they just seem to be ignoring me. I must they get closer. Us off. 
Bring in the air support! The Ember Wing is flying in. Watch out! I'm out of range. Hey, you find my tank this guy. I must get closer. I'm out of range. Oh, I can only get lightning and get attention. Too far away. Uh, I can use that for lightning and flares. I guess he got bored now that he's out of ammo. Demolishers! Get in there! Leave nothing but a pile of ash! Oh, that's Demolishers are carrying explosives. Mm. Any direct hit will blow them up. Oh, I see. So we can just knock them... Alright, that instantly kills them if they're hit. Oh, that's silly. Amber wing, get in there! Lay siege to the holdouts! Okay, so we need to kill this Amber wing. I'm out of range. He's not even doing damage. We got him. Ah, ah. So much for the big bug guy. That definitely does damage. Yeah, I'm standing in the back of that killer. Uh, well, I was curious how much damage it does. Warrior coming in! Focus your fire! to bombard them from above. I need to target something first. Oh, hey. That's, uh... Because they take so much damage, uh... The tournament heals go off the wall. I don't think we're supposed to kill the Amber Wing. What? You attack it. Everyone! Send everything! Slaughter these cowards! They're making us look like fools! I'm pretty sure you're the one making yourself look like a fool. Ah, those who fail deserve to die! You have merely called the weak! I'll hold him right here. Too far away. I must finish this myself then. So be it. I require a target. Oh, I should. Very careful with Shadow Lord Pain with that kind I of thing. I must get closer. Alright, if you have any focus on fire on him as, so we can weaken him a bit before he gets to the top. Yeah, the debuff's all stacked, so no reason not to go nuts. Uh, whoa! Holy crap! Thousand blades. So, I guess. I'm not liking you very much. Not a range. He just killed me. I don't understand how I thought I had aggro on him. <laughs> um, he's really adding to my stagger and damage stagger. I'm a good person. Too far away. Gotta keep him standing up there. No, screw you. I think we're supposed to still splatter him with this stuff I'm out of range. down. Or not. We got him. A trap. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Lee and Lo, go look after our friends down below. This is an agility scimitar, so yeah, let's go with that. Scimitar? 
the scimitar, yeah. Oh dang, I really took a lot of damage from that. No, you just haven't been healed yet. That was rezzing. Oops, I probably should have been rezzing too since I resuscitate. I probably just took Vivify off my hotbar because at, at my level it's just not healing anything. Oh, here's the ah, we gotta rescue. This gate is locked. But I think I have something that will open it. Explosive. That seems like we are that, 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 that explosive seems like it would be a very bad way to open that kind of uh, uh, Let me see here. Nonsense. Thirty second fuse. It's a little shrapnel no, for freedom. Whoops. Did I say thirty? I meant three. Alright, we're releasing all the prisoners, right? We need to release twelve. Go! Requests. Hurry! You must stop the siege! Something first. From the rear. Uh, I don't think any of us have played Parappa the Rapper. Alright, the one with about Hong Fu we talked about now, but I never played it, I only once played it. Too far away. Fighting these guys, I don't think. Not if we want to complete the quest, anyways. Shadow Pan. Uh, dragon. What is it? Uh, let's get the roamers over here first. Just because I have the feeling they're going to be a problem if we don't. Go hit that vanguard. We might be able to sneak. Oh no, there's more prisoners back there. Go hit the vanguard. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hit the vanguard here. I don't have a target. Here we go. Toasted tea. That was satisfying to set that entire group on fire at once. I need to target something first. Alright, good. Let's see here, only three Pendaran to save. And I see all the cages over there. Oh, we can all save one right here. General Pavlek, he's a new yeah, boss. boss. Alright, let's see if I can c gather these guys without pulling boss. Hello, Rev. Yeah. I must get closer. Yeah, Alright. Wait, they're all, uh, I actually made them because they asked us specifically to make it an all fox run. Which is also why I'm not like I'm Darren I require a target. Decided to do some fresh characters so we could do all the dungeons together. Uh, the wanderers. Yeah, let's get the. Yeah, 
let's get them over here. Target. Fuck on themselves. Uh, I've been able to see what it is. Prisoners freed. Apparently, we're supposed to just let the remaining ones rot. Yes, exactly. We all know. weird, like the drain a opening where you have to save lives, but you only do like one or two, and then like all the other corpses you're supposed to leave are there somehow. All right. Pragmatic right. general does not leak, does not fear the Pandaren or their allies, and he does not differentiate between using his own might and that of his mounted armies to defeat his enemy. Victory is the only honor he seeks, and I don't think this is actually important. And that's uh, lore, I think. Uh, General Babak throws his sword at random player locations, dealing a lot of damage to all players within 41 yards. That is very wide within, on impact. Once the sword lands, General uh, Babak then charges to it, inflicting damage to all players within 81... What? Oh, just look at Tempest. Oh, he has a tornado. He basically makes a tornado, basically. Hmm. Inflicting well within 600 yards, okay. So, and negating the next amount of healing to the target. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot purge that, so I just have to try to AoE heal through that. Je Jesus Christ, okay. Um, when he reaches 65 and 35 percent health, he summons himself. He shields himself in a bulwark and summons reinforcements. Uh, the shield has about 40k HP on it, so you can damage through it, I guess. Yeah, but it might uh, be better. I think the point is we have to take out the adds first, and then after that we can worry about it. Uh... God, these numbers seem so high. I like how our tank has a 30 more HP than our uh, mage. Um, thrown explosives inflict... Players may attempt to throw siege explosives back at the enemy mantid before they arm. Thrown explosives de inflict 12,000 damage to all na mantids between 71 yards of the target. Why are these ranges so long? 71 yards is enormous. That's like this entire field. Well, I'm glad we took out all the uh, everything else in here before fighting him, that's for sure. With our DPS, we should be able to melt him, but... Uh, uh, as a side note, sorry to say this, but I have to help with that. Anyway. And our healer is the highest HP. I uh, think, uh... Interesting. Well, to be fair, he's also a higher level, it looks like, so... Might explain it. Also, he has... Actually, it's because he has the increasing max health, and I don't. Why don't I get the, uh... The, and I think his armor is, a uh, level, uh, equivalent because of the heirloom stuff. Hmm. Oh, yeah, heirloom Much stuff. Much like mine. Yeah, I never, I never got a chance to unlock the heirloom stuff. I guess I'm just too fresh new of a player for that. I mean, I, I started playing two weeks ago, and I got the, the heirloom stuff, but... Really? I guess I was just neglectful then. Oops for me. <laughs> Alright. So oh, it yeah, sounds like I've... we're gonna have to YOLO this guy, and try and spread uh, not out. Not yet, because I typically okay. 
Well, right, but I mean, uh, it sounds like we're mostly going to have to spread out and hope we can get a handle on things. But it does look like once he summons that aura thing, and we, it, we're better off removing all of the silly ads rather than worrying about his shield. And we can DPS the shield down pretty well afterward. As far as I can tell, you guys have some pretty solid DPS overall. Uh, the amount of damage... I just got back. The amount of damage throwing the things back at them uh, that it deals seems to, like it's kind of important. 12,000 damage is nothing to scoff at, and it is kind of like a quarter of the shield. I imagine that that's the point, is you're supposed to throw their stuff back and catch him in the blast as well. Hmm. I suspect that if you don't get rid of the shield, then they just keep coming. But, yeah, we uh, we throw the things, catch uh, and get him in the blast as well. That's my guess. We have not actually seen the fight. It might be more obvious than that one once we're in. All right. Well, it's probably better that I jump in, and we'll figure it out from there. For Right, also, I have the bathroom. There you go. Alright, all set. Yep. That temper will fall. You cannot stop my forces. I think we already have. Okay, the range is there. Out of range. Yeah, I had a feeling that was up. Alright, getting the healing. My army will crush you. I must get closer. Alright, where is it? Where are they come? These guys are not going as tough as I would have led to believe they would be. Too much. Right, so I guess we really did need to DPS the shield for the ads to avoid going nuts. Put down your weapons or die. that we just kill the ads and don't care about the others. Alright. Also, oh. mount up. We are outdoors. Can't jump over the wall, because of course not. That is of course, that would be too uh, easy and convenient, wouldn't it? I guess that's not fair. It's not as goofy as some of the later ones have gotten. Honestly, I find the invisible walls to be more obnoxious than the older expansions. Really? Well, that makes I guess that might make sense. 
I've only played a handful of the really older ones. And even then, the older ones, the fun part of the older ones seem to be more around how they handle stuff rather than the, uh... It just depends, really. Yeah. Fix, fix. Alright, let's do it again. Uh, you want to give the intellect buff to... Oh, actually, it doesn't matter, does it? We got or the buff. We got the buff. Alright, real set. Okay, this time let's just focus on the ads. We'll, we'll try just focusing on the ads. And throwing the bombs at the ads. That makes sense. I didn't think, uh, well, the ads died pretty easy. So even one person looks at them. I didn't realize when one person was looking at them, well, I would have... Just made all of them. We must get closer. Oh, wow, that really does clean them up pretty quickly, doesn't it? His to keep him damaged too. Alright, so we get basically get I'm to be the bomb pigment. You can walk away from. Until I was the one throwing most of the sheets, the siege bombs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was just making sure his attention was. Don't be too far away from me. Mages are so OP. They're doing 15 damage. Well, leveling. Sadly, there's things way too tight here. There's no way to avoid getting aggroing all of these guys. Oh, Wingling was the last oh, boss. Alright, let's take a look at the Adventurer's Guide real quick. Alright, roll back. Interrupt a little. Uh, 
I throw rubble from the damaged bridge at their target, inflicting physical damage equal to 100% of his weapon damage. What the freaking... What is that supposed to mean? Well, whatever it is, we need to interrupt it, and you will need to use the counter spell from the mages for, for the mage for that, since that's I know that's a range interrupt. Any all interrupts are interrupts. Yeah, but it says he flies off to the other side of the bridge, which means I might not be able to reach him for my uh, spear hand strike. Uh, this is the gusting winds, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That looks like that's it's gonna be. Pushing enemies away from him at high speed. Okay. Tw uh, he does it twice during the fight. I assume it's the same HP thresholds as the other bosses, but they're not telling us because... Oh. Uh... Let's see, they throw a blob of caustic pitch at a random location. It's bad to stand in it. Uh, they, then they spray a target area with heated resin. If the resin hardens, it deals 74 damage every one second. If this process completes, the target becomes encased in resin and cannot move or act for six seconds. Jumping counteracts this effect, and if the target breaks free, they become invigorated, uh, giving them a uh, buff for 30 seconds. So if you are getting resin, just jump. I guess that's about it. Alright. Twin Sword Monk, who doesn't actually use any swords, is ready. Alright, here we go. You may have come this far. You may have carved a path through my army, but I will kill you, and I will build the bridge. I'm out of range. I will do what Pavalak could not. Oh, I thought when the other side of the bridge, it meant the, uh... Literally the other bridge across the gap where we couldn't reach him. Oh, I see. And then when it... My bird is enough to stop him from doing that. Uh, no, I've been interrupting him. I'm usually first because of the teleport uh, getting me ahead of the group and I just interrupt him. He got him. Pulling the bird is a simple that. Spent talent points. Oh, we were at the end of the bridge. Oh. Strike. We are the sword in the shadows. He's so good, he's literally floating a few feet off the ground. Ooh, this is a necklace. Perfect. I actually needed one of these. Uh, mastery. Strike. Stamina. Oh my god, this game needs to I'll go with the agility one. The wall must stand. Yeah, an agility lock, it should be perfect. Satchel of helpful goods. Bring of flowing half, water. It's half cool. Man, I love having a bajillion of the same hat. I'd like to have a hat at all. The one I have equipped right now is literally one of those white ones I had to buy off an NPC because I figured even... Seven armor was better than absolutely nothing. Oh, also, I should actually complete the quests. Yeah, the ninja uh, guy I... spawned here a few inches off the ground so that we could give those to him. Got a new uh, pair of uh, 
speed armor. He's actually just like a significant upgrade. Well, he gave me a necklace, and I was really, really, really in need of a better necklace, so I'd say this is a pretty solid run. On to the next one. Sounds good to me. Oh, right, it's 34, so I've learned a new bit skill. What did I learn? What did I learn? What did I learn? Zen meditation, a new... Probably not going to be one I use too much, but it's always worth having a 60% damage mitigation out of nowhere. Ooh, nice animation. Alright, gotta repair, sell some things. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, just go to uh, Alf. That uh, has a fixer on it. Oh, but he's running away. He's right here. Well. Time is money, friend! Let's go and repair. Hurry back! Sell the old What's items. Up? I no longer need those. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need these. Also, despite the fact that it says that uh, we could only do one dungeon to get the reward, we're still getting the reward. <laughs> Glad I could well, I'm not going to say no to easy experience leveling and leveling. I think we should try one uh, Lich King dungeon. I wouldn't mind that. I did like the la the ice area we did last time. I'm gonna stay near the repair shop because I always need to repair after every dungeon. It's just standard practice. And maybe this time oh, I'll actually get a hat. Beauty bags as well. Blood and thunder! What are you looking for? Sug Sug? Thrall Hull! What can I help you with? Thrall Hull! Back off! Will you stop touching me? Are you challenging me? That's I would not say we funny. should try Warlord the Draenor, but uh. Dispute my honor? The last time no we tried time. one of those, it was very bad. Uh, what about the Draenor? Draenor was the because it was so bad. Uh, yeah, remember that dungeon we went into where uh, we had to stand on blue ruins and everybody still Hello, died? Q. Sorry, breaking from the usual schedule for tonight, but I figure, or since I was playing with some buddies, it might be more fun to do something like this. So, not only was it a nice change of pace, but hey, yeah. <laughs> it's with friends, and so that should be more interesting than if I was doing it solo. <laughs> Oh, this doesn't look that bad. Yeah, whatever it is, it looks pretty uh, solid, I think. Alright, here we are. King's Horde. Dang, look at all this money. This could get us maybe one-fourth of a Shadowlands item. <laughs> The guy's a roamer, so let's bring him back in here. Oh, excellent instant kill. Ooh, we're getting Horde Expedition a reputation for this. Aw oh, man, I get an extra point. Recruit a friend. 
I must get closer. Too far away. Ooh, that guy hit a bit hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's nah, fine. I didn't die, so no damage. No. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sure to look out for the things you gotta pick up. Uh, or the oh, there's a quest oh, there's at the there's start I forgot to pick up. Uh, it's, it's looks like it's static for everybody. I or it more, it's not gonna be like the other dungeon where you can only pick up certain items. Uh, or hold on, uh, I that to, they're uh, consumed when they're picked up or whatever. Well, for the moment, uh, let me just get these quests because somehow I forgot. I think because when I Good spawned and I saw you. you guys running off and See I was all balls, I need to jump Talk in. To me. Is there a thing to pick up? Well, they get consumed like those weapons on that one dungeon we did. Oh, okay. oh wow, oh. I'm actually going to get a helmet out of this. Alright. Oh, who killed that mouse? Oh, someone died. killed a rodent? Was it a giant row? It was the wind. Unfortunate. Oh crap, the items are. Yeah, I still need to collect all those items, so whatever you guys needed. Um, there's things that have been on the ground to pick up, but they've. Unless there's some by the skeletons in here, they're to get picked up like the weapons in that one dungeon, so if one, when one person picks them up, they disappear. So basically when someone picks them up. Alright, it's not shared progress, right? Nope. How oh, very frustrating. I don't see yeah, anything. there's nothing back there. No reason to waste our time back here anymore. Alright. I heard Bennett as we look for the back. Oh, oh, this guy found him. Save my ass. Uh, oh, I don't have herbalism on this character. Here we go. I pushed it a bit too far. Well, you guys still got it. Your DPS is high enough that you could still win. Oh my on my bird. I wasn't thinking about that. So close to level up, it can sneeze and level up. Oh no, he's got the COVID. Again. Okay, 
got an entire silver bar. I got one finally. And then again, I guess I killing my me. Oh. I have done as you asked, and now beseech you for your blessing. Your sacrifice is a testament to your obedience. Indeed, you are worthy of this charge. Arise, and forever be known as Svala Sorrowgrave. Okay, we should probably actually look up what this ha what happens here. This looks uh, pretty this simple. This sensation is beyond my imagining. Yes, I think that I the important be part about this is just an elite. My king. This is a boss. An elite. Your first test an elite boss. you. Destroy our uninvited guests. What do you mean uninvited? I will be happy to slaughter them in your name. Come, enemies of the scourge! I go, you will look at okay. the might of the Lich King. Sinister Strike. She strikes a player, inflicting physical damage. Gee, is that like her auto attack? Uh, so I think the important thing here is Ritual of the Sword. Uh, she summons a random player to her altar and begins cast uh, to sacrifice them. While being sacrificed, three Ritual Channelers cast Paralyze on the player, stunning them until channelers are killed. After 25 seconds, the sword falls to the altar and inflicts shadow damage while players within X yards. In addition, any player hit by the sword becomes corrupted, causing more shadow damage. Now that actually sounds like an interesting mechanic. So, kill the channelers. Sounds good to me. And as per usual, I'll make sure... Kill the channelers, uh, person on the table, get off the table when you can. Alright. Ready? I, will I must get closer. of death so much. We didn't come this far to lose hey, either. Hey, you got something out of that. You got something? Yeah, I got oh, yeah. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I got an upgrade to my shoulders, which is always welcome since, you know, more armor on a tank. Yeah, I got a talent. Good. A very important uh, talent. Stuff around this room as well. Grab, I think. Other stuff to grab. Alright, let's look around, see if there's anything we need to grab. There we go. Cool down a fire blast, reduce even more. I get an extra yeah, charge of it. Come over here by this guy. Oh, goblin. Yeah, goblet for somebody to grab. Ooh, goblet, 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 where? By this guy. There's more stuff in that room. There's a lot of stuff in that room, in fact. Oh my. I'll go ahead. I'll grab him real quick so that we can take it safely. <laughs> I'm out of range. <laughs> There we go. The Holy Grail is mine. Oh darn, I need two Holy Grails. Damn it. I need there's one more shiny bubble. Yeah, there's plenty of them around. It's just you keep eyes out. Seems that way, yes. There's someone over here. Too. You have to be mindful of the shiny bubbles looks are super fucking small. Too far away. Oh, our tank's going. I'm kind of getting rid of this guy because I want to see if there were any items in here that were useful. Well, 
Very Sorry, I should have said that that was not what I was about to do. I don't have a target. Ow. Why am I being hurt? Uh, there's random damage inflicted. And I'm about to die. Oh, shoot. I did not mean to grab those guys. Why am I so I must get closer. I get on the power. Those guys. Shiny baubles. Dang, those are really hard to see. Yeah, I'll write you past you. That's good. Oh, 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 Finally, the Holy Grail. Uh, there's a bubble over here. Right in front of me if you know why I need it. I need one more. Let me see. Where was it? Uh, literally right over here where I'm standing. Oh wow, that's really hard to see. There we are. Mine are done. All the bars were picked up. Well, I definitely need to complete these because a new chess piece and new hat would be wonderful upgrades. The more damage I can and take, the better. I only need one more. Here we are. Here I have all the are. silver I need. Uh, there's a jade figure over here. Jade figure, yeah. Luckily, we oh. only need one of those. So I've already got mine, so whoever needs it, needs it. I think we're all good on the jade figure. Some more bars of silver. And, uh, silver, yep, silver over here. Just rather than it needs them now. Uh, enemies are coming in. is probably real or something. I was about to say the same thing, yeah. One of them going at the end of the hall, of course. Lots of bars yeah, around. Yep. Or on tarnished silver, silver if anyone needs them. I'm the last person to need them. Excellent. And I'm good for silver, I just need two baubles. Uh, uh, apparently there's some way to free that... Uh... Oh, I know. I, hold on. 
Do we want to fight this boss? The ruthless. Yes, we do. I'll come back here then. Someone got the Grail then. Excellent. I can't fight Scotty yeah, the Ruthless fight. yet, so I guess we need to fight the other guy first. Uh, no. Get back here. What's this? About to fight a boss. All right, one of these coming to, has to come to life. I can't attack that. Gets to get at the very end of the hole. Uh, uh, mages and warlocks. Uh, you can't trust them. Every one of these. Not a warlock. Uh, no. Oh, I see. We're gonna have a gauntlet on here, aren't we? Yeah, he has nineteen hundred health, apparently. Friends of Morgan. Target. All right, we have a bit of text. Poor Tellus Morgan. Ferocious Rhino is going to come to life next. You guys are kind of pushovers. Well, to be fair, these are just the warm up. Eh? This guy's not even moving, and that's concerning me. He's about to do something big, isn't he? Probably charge. I think his animation is just broken. Yeah, there's a freeze animation. Yeah, I guess his animation's just broke. That's hilarious. I'm glad I got that on stream. Here he comes. Oh, huh. I figured we were gonna fight the other ones for uh, them, but... I thought we were gonna fight them all for him, too. I guess they figured that would take a bit too long. Oh, oh just his weapon I dropped, I guess. Point. Next, we get to fight Skadoodle. Scotty. Scotty. Yeah. What mongrels dare intrude here? Look alive, my brothers! A feast for the one that brings me their heads! Weird that it's a guy, but okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Scotty was an ice giant of... Nice giant goddess, if I remember right. And a goddess of skiing, if I am right. Good AOE at the end there. Careful. I see that. I see it again. Yes, we have to take the key. I'm gonna get closer. Here we are. Oh, hey, Goblet. This is gonna be going. That guy's not gonna move. I'll bring the party to him. I'm out of range. I need to target something first. Harpoon, eh? Everybody grab a harpoon. Uh, don't launch him until he gets over here. Oops. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Alright, these guys aren't, pretty aren't very tough, so 
unless I need healing or anything, we should be able to. Yeah. We now have three harpoons, or did someone not fire those? Yeah, I would have put the enemy room behind there as well. Like a scene of a comedy. <laughs> Well, I would like to see other company. Okay, someone needs to fire. No, too late. Well, the good news is now these guys are particularly threatening, so we can take our. T we don't have to worry about him uh, being a problem for us. Target something first. Well, we do have to worry about it when I'm finally freaking dropping another harpoon. Oh, right, they all. Oh, right, I forgot. This is an MMO. Not that no drops are 100%. Requires harpoon to fire. We're whalers of the moon. We can be here. You're trying to see if they come down there or. Too far away. They don't have a target. Oh, I guess I'm gonna be dead. Roger. You motherless knaves! Your corpses will make five. Uh, I'm gonna have to force some folks on me. All right, now let's take out Skadoodle here. The ruthless. Spins. Spinning towards me. Spinning to winning. Forgot to look up the adventure guy, but I don't think he has anything too uh, major. Uh. In fact, he was spun fixated on me and I really killed him. Oh god. Alright, I think that mitigation actually saved me. There we go. You call that an attack? Here we are. Alright, let's get these guys here. Here. Looks like I got all the items. Silver. A spooder is over there. We got a grail in here. If anyone needs a holy grail. Uh, all that's left that's needed is bobbles. Bobbles are really annoying because they're hard to see. I don't fall. There we are, touch of death finished it. Mm, I don't see any baubles here. I do see some enemies. Oh my. You guys are having a good time. I know this is a bit outside the usual, the usual, but I require a target. I have very little, actually, very little experience target. tanking, especially in a more traditional MMO. Tanking is a lot more simplified in Final Fantasy XIV and Guild Wars, so it's uh, way different from this game where tanking requires some mitigate, active focus on your mitigation skills and such. It's certainly been exciting and fun, that's for sure. I probably oh, should have no. tanked an MO sooner. Yep. 
Yep, that was definitely not good. Yeah, that was a bit. Uh, that was a bit too much. No, too I, I got fear. I, I got feared in the first end, and then I couldn't really recover after that. And now I'm just being chain feared. Okay. Well, that necro guy summoned a whole bunch of us uh, skellies. Uh, really spirit. Really spirit. Once oh, everyone's dead. And uh, because you released back at the very beginning of the level. Hey there. Perfect. Now we can hand in all these quests. Have a good one. Here we are. One. Junk in the trunk. Here we are. Watch. Get her back. Anything that makes it anyway, nice to wonderful a chest, no. leather chest. Oh dang, that was a huge upgrade from what I had before. That's very welcome, thank you. Right here. I'm not following Trig. Uh, where is it? There it is. Oh wait, no, that's cloth. <laughs> What? I had something that was Level right through there. most of the uh, Warcraft storyline stuff so far, and I think uh, no, Lich King and Legion, speaking purely in terms of storyline, were the ones I've liked most so far. I don't know. I did recently Bizarre. finish the Covenant story for Shadowlands, though, and that was pretty cool, but that's only part of it, so I want to see the rest before I give a full opinion on Shadowlands stuff. Yeah, it's pretty nice, but like most MMOs, it really relies on you know, the having part? some good it's a BOE. friends and stuff, having some friends around like this. So that shouldn't even matter. So yeah, if you're wondering if I'm going to try WoW Classic or WoW uh, Burning Crusade Classic, it's, it's pretty much going to depend entirely on whether or not some friends are going to be playing that. It's a BOP, not BOE. Wrong, it's a BOE. Because when I click on it, it says bind on pickup. Find when equipped. Huh. Zen Cloud can only do a side. Right after this uh, dungeon, I guess. I'm guessing this is this fight, this room's fight, is where you fight random enemies out of the group of. Two random ones, and then the main one at the end of the hall. If I had to guess. Actually, I can check the adventures guide and check for sure. Yeah, as two random hunting trophies become active, so yeah, we just happen to get lucky with the uh, Rhino and Worgen instead of the Jormungar and Furblog. I mean, I mean, we don't actually know how easy the other ones are. Yeah. I don't think the others were really threatening. Honestly, the uh, Worgen nearly killed you at, uh, once you were enraged. True. Oh, crap, I almost fell down that hole in the staircase. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Not that it did any damage. More bars, I guess if anyone needs them. Alright. So, pull it back into this area. Too far away. I must get closer. I probably went for those wanderers to get over. I'm here. out of range. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the berserkers first. And I'm gonna bring them over here before we do anything else. So get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. There's no reason to go way the hell back there. I don't need to go all the way back, but it's good to be safe anyways. Fuck, I didn't even... There was a half second to throw off my end up there. Keshka, what are you doing? They're not stopping there. They're in the middle here, so I can't even interrupt them. I have no way of dealing with it. Dang, that was really painful. Give me a moment to heal up. Take you a lot more than I thought. Yeah, that guy was way stronger than I was expecting. Alright, get ready for the necromancers. Too far away. I must get closer. I'm out of range.
where I killed him. Oh dang, killing him didn't make the mindless servants go away. Not that they're any threat, mind you, just... Uh, should we ignore the Scourge Hulk? I don't think we should take on the Scourge. Alright, yeah, let's... Go. All that quest stuff then. Yeah, let's ignore the Scourge Hulk. All that's left now is to defeat King Ymiron. That means turning to a block of ice. I was like, I am walking right towards the boss. That that that's not good. Yeah, I think you made a smart decision there. All right, King Ymiron. All right, let's see what he does. It's like, health remaining. He calls upon a, fel a fallen king. Grant him a new ability. He retains this ability until he chooses a new fallen king. Uh. Spirit Burst makes him do damage to everyone. Uh, Jean, uh, spirit Fount grants him the ability to summon a Spirit Fount that it, uh, inflicts ra damage to a random player every second. Mm -hmm. uh, spirit Strike makes you... The, uh, makes the affected person take more physical damage for 10 seconds. This effect stacks up to 100 times. Uh, and Tor of the Brutal Siege grants him the ability to summon four avenging spirits to attack players, uh, which their melee attacks reduce all stats by 2%. 10 seconds, this stack affects up to 50 times. The stack's 50 times, 2 times 50 is 100, so he can reduce it 100% if we don't take him out. Yep. Uh, whenever he chooses a fallen king, he unleashes a bone-chilling uh, scream that stuns all players for 8 seconds. Presumably so we can't stop him from doing so. Or so he can play the cutscene. Uh... Bane, he is, uh, he is surrounded by an aura of Bane, which inflicts shadow damage to all players within a hundred, uh, uh, whenever he takes direct damage. The effect lasts for five seconds. I don't think any of us attacks really fast enough for that to be a huge problem. Yeah, we're pro this te our team is pretty much entirely mages, so I think we're pretty safe. And my attacks... Uh, yeah, magic effect. We might be, I might be able to purge it. Oh yeah, that's right, it's a magic effect. Well, I'm glad that it helpfully marks which are magic effects. Uh, Dark Slash, he slashes a player, inflicting damage equal to half of their current health. And then Fetid Rot, which is a disease which I can cure, I believe uh, you also can cure that. I think Detox can remove that, yeah, if I need to. Flicks a player with Fetid Rot, inflicting nature damage. Every three seconds, a decreasing healing received by 25% for nine seconds. Alright, we are set. Set. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any super important right, mechanics right. to worry about here other than uh, probably the first the thing that does. I must get closer. Tor of the Brutal Siege! Bestow uh, your might upon me! Damn, that kind of really just is that bubble up back here. Very nice work. Really painful, but I think I can. Bjorn of the Black Storm! 
Honor me now with no, that's cool. Oh wow, that that just killed me. Oh, I was stunned. Oh, good luck. Okay, my no uh, I think you, you taking aggro out me actually killed me. I always find it amusing that Archuries always get a skill called aim shot. I mean, by the fact it's a bow, isn't it always innately an aim shot? I think it's I I don't know. Know. You can do it. You can do it, guys. You, you got it. the DPS. You got the deeps. You just, you just gotta do an 8k crit. I'm sure fire mages are known for that. Uh, so honestly, close. if one other person is alive there, I it probably would have been fine, but that guy smacked off three quarters of my health in one hit, I think. Yeah. Dang, that was a close one. We almost had him. So, basically, I should be keeping you topped off at all uh, at all times because the phasing can just fuck you. Yeah, I didn't realize that there was going to be a finisher damage on that disease thing while I was stunned. If I had known that, oh well. I got the reduced um, cooldown on the, my shield brew for this reasons like this. The more I can have that shield up, the more or I can take. Disease not only damages you, but it also reduces healing on you. So if if you can cure it on yourself, that is a pretty big deal. I hope Detox can remove it. Yeah, it's hard to notice I and mean, need to pay closer please. attention to. What, I, is the, I, what does Detox say it removes? Detox says removes all poison and disease effects from the user, from the target. Okay, it removes it because it's a disease. Okay. Jumping up stairs as a Volparin because then you just do flips as, as you up the I like how the Volparas get a you flip listen. when jumping when not occasion. How do work when, you do it up a, when you do it up a staircase, uh, they just start doing flips, but of course, you're not actually, you're just ramming your face into the ground. You just roll it. Rolling upstairs. Yeah, you all are. At least once I hit 35, I get to choose a new tree. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes, or uh, if you try to do a combat roll down a staircase, uh, you'll just uh, snake will just fall over. I guess for the 35 talent, I might want the tiger tail sweep since that reduces the cooldown of leg sweep. Ready? Alright, let's go. Left and let Kay get demon. What? Alright. Too far away. Yeah, ironically, your sniper kind of works against you a bit here. Yeah, it does. Uh, I was about to say, yeah. Oh my gosh, you are so much. Can't, can't do any more than that. I'm doing it with my can here, but not so much. Ah. 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 
no good. What the hell? My stagger meter. The Black Storm. Honor me now with your presence. Yeah, my stagger meter was basically half full when he killed me. Even if he didn't kill me there, when I when he stunned us all, and I'd be forced to take the dot. It, the dot would have killed me. You may have to just win a DPS race at this point. This is definitely the kind of fight that counters a, a stagger-based mitigation like this. No more. Ooh, now that hurt. I uh, release. As soon as you die, release. So he comes to us. No, because so that we can walk back sooner. I think this is uh where you, you might be also struggling partly rather in his disciplines, not a quite strong demand healing, I think. I can't remember it. Uh well I don't know what to say other than uh my entire class is boiled down to testing Shadow Mend as quickly as possible. Hmm. in a situation like that. Unfortunately, I don't have any advice. The only priest I've really had fu any fun with was Shadow Priest, so... I don't, There's I don't. no advice to give. It's literally, if I don't do that for half a second, you're dead. I guess that makes sense. Uh, the main reason why you wouldn't normally want to do that is because it's uh, mana-intensive as shit to do that. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Like, there's no rotation that I could do other- like, I'm sometimes doing penance, but even that's actually kinda... Uh, what if we gave the uh, tank a soul deal, or a soul stone, whatever, from AF? That would be ideal? Probably might oh. be the best idea, yeah. Because I think the main thing that's getting us is the fact that stun is actually pretty dangerous when the whole point of my mitigation is I have I have longer it takes it turns burst into stagger damage, but if we can't heal during that time, then I'm just taking that damage straight up. I'm just gonna die. Yeah, once we get over here, okay, I can give you a can make a soul gem out of you or whatever. Yeah, and then you'll be able to res uh, res yourself uh, when we phase. Because if he goes to me, I can just turtle. Hopefully. I'm really, really glad I got the reduced cooldown for purifying, for the purifying brew because that cuts the amount of uh, staggered damage I have to take in half. And if he's t filled half my staggered damage meter, then losing half of it is basically losing half of his burst. And uh, Buffus Rodrin. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right. So how do I make the soul gem thingy? Uh, basically. <laughs> Yeah, when you die, it will sit, uh, in instead of release spirit, it'll, it'll be a third option that says use soul gem. Alright. I don't think they unlocked the resurrection thing until later, but... What? Guess so. Eh. Well, soul gem is like the 20s, I think, actually. Eh. It's res, but you have to put it out before they die. That's why you generally just put it on the tank as the default, unless you're doing some specific strat. And just shows up in my inventory once it works, once it happens, or? Uh, when you die, instead of there being two options, there'll be a third one right. that, says, uh, that says use soul stone. All right, here we are, soul, stone, soul is stored. All right, looks like I'm ready. We all, all right. set? set? Take him. Alright, shield please. Thank you. 
not too much, but I figure every bit helps. What the hell? I'm out of range. Uh, I'll just provoke him. If Falls fails, I can do that. Well, he did not like me for some reason. Yeah, I don't know what was going on there. I don't know what happened there. I did the same rotation I did usually to get aggro. Kill you, Stellar. Can't really do that right now. I'm sorry. How did you do that, Rodon? I'm guessing you got a DOT on you. Uh, it was the uh, first thing he pulled out. When the tank went down, he just immediately turned to me, uh, probably because I'm... Uh, yeah, with that amount uh, of healing, there's no question you were second. probably be standing further away from them, unless there's something no, that's not the problem, with Stellar. He, aggro is aggro. Uh, yeah, if, if he's I'm healing that much, that much. He's de there's no yeah. question he's second on the aggro list. Uh, the answer is, I should have hit Fade. That too. Uh, but very, very, uh, very fast. So I didn't even. Well, as you as you experience, uh, he kills you in two hits. Yeah, anyone yeah, who's not me dies I'm, in two hits to him, and I die in about five hits. I've also, when the few times the times I've been left alone, I, I've also know that getting distance from him means you don't die so damn quick. You still die quick, but you're not gonna get. It's completely different than standing next to him. At that point. At least the good news is once I beat him, I'll finally get a real helmet, not the silly uh, NPC purchased one I have to use now. That'll be nice. Unfortunately, I think this cooldown on the is uh, 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, so here's a question for the other people. Uh -huh. Do you have any abilities that cure disease for your, yourself? No. Yeah, I'm going to, I've got Think detox. Mage has something that does that? I don't know. I'm asking because <laughs> this is so healing intensive. It's ridiculous. I put out 20k healing uh, in that short ass fight. Hmm. They could be easier as a holy priest. You yeah, also the problem of uh, it probably would be uh, technically it might be able to heal more but then Rada has no clue how the holy priest and slave functions. True, and it's probably better to stick to one that he'd be uh, he'd know how Suppose to play. Suppose the disadvantage of Shadow Man is that uh, the ally will take damage until uh, they take sep. 373 damage from any source. Uh, of course, that includes his auto attack, which instantly removes that. Uh, yeah, the auto attack would definitely be enough to remove it, the shadow heal penalty. Hmm. Yeah, this guy's really rough. Uh, buffs. Yeah, buffs, buffs, buffs. Buffs, 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 buffs. Have a shield. Alright. Uh, should we give it a minute for the soul stone? A 10 minute uh, cooldown. Oh, so not it's worth it. Uh, he said soul, not primal rage. Is the, uh, they're both 10 minute? Okay. 
Well, if they're both 10 minutes, we may as well make an attempt in the meantime. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess well, I only have so much armor. I require ability. a target. I don't have a target. You have two attempts, I think, left before I have broken armor. I think. Um. So yeah, when someone sees him cast Bane, I have no time to uh, dispel that, by the way. Uh, if I use detox while he's uh, while he's targeting while I'm targeting him, it should automatically use it on myself. So I sh if nothing else, I should be able to cure my own diseases. With the cooldown and detox. Detox's cooldown is eight second cooldown. Um, you don't have anything like purge stellar that uh, removes enemy buffs. No. Lovely. Well, hmm. Never thought I'd miss the what? one inch punch. Well, then I would recommend people not atta uh, attack when Bane is going out because it kills us. It, like, literally puts us to, like, all of us to, like, 20% health. Me. Sorry, what was that camp? Two minutes on my cooldown. We have about four minutes on the frenzy cooldown as well. So three minutes now, yeah, so. We probably don't want the frenzy until like the second or third phase. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, definitely towards it being better. The second or third to get it. Just to. Because the first phase is so dangerous. I imagine. I also need to remember to avoid uh, getting losing aggro dim early like last time because I think that really did mess us up way more than it should have. So I, Grab a drink. Give me a moment here. Soulstone cat. I think ready. Waiting on him to come back from his drink. Sorry about that. I guess I need to. I guess that ran out a bit earlier than I expected, so I had to get rid of it. All right. All right. Everything's off cooldown, basically. Oh, perfect. Except primal rage, but uh, that's gonna be second or third phase anyway. Sounds good. All right. We all set. Yeah. All right. Let's shield, please. Thank you. 
Too far away. No good. Tor of the brutal siege, bestow okay. your might upon me. I'm out of range. Uh, decided to kill you while the stun was still going on. <laughs> kill all the stun was still going on. Yeah. Super uh, fair, right? That bloodlust was definitely better saved for that that later later part there. Yeah, I think that really did a lot for us. Um, Black Ox statue at the target location. It pulses threat to all enemies. You may also cast provoke on the statue to taunt all enemies. This actually seems like a pretty solid idea if I need to take a group. You know what, let's take the statue. If not, I can just change it to the stronger leg sweep later. I've heard a lot about Blackhawk statue in general, so I assume it's pretty good. Oh, sounds but, like yeah, a fun one then. I haven't played the class and I heard about it, probably means that it's good. Up with you. Finally, head guard that is actually not garbage. Alright, and now we can try to trade that that, uh, those wristlets. Okay, uh... Excellent. My armor all up... My entire set of armor got upgraded. Oh, you left the dungeon. Yeah. Okay, we'll try it. Try what now? Uh, I found a pair... A, a pair of wrists that were male, uh -huh. But it wasn't letting me give them to. Oh, Watch the BOE can you mail it? Be good. Shoot, that was a hard one battle. Nope, it says he's ineligible. I'll try mailing it to you. Keshka? Yep. Uh, right. No boxes over here. Okay, basically all my gear is, uh... Oh, wait, I'm not on Illidan. That might prevent it from happening. Oh, that might... Uh... Yeah, that might be the issue. Not normally something that's a problem. Can't send me... Okay. It's not normally an issue for, uh... Sug, sug. For trading items. Or, or sorry for trading gear, because I don't know. It says it said like, oh, he's not eligible, which he obviously was was in it with us. I think it's because he already left the dungeon. No, it didn't work before he left the dungeon. Oh my! This helmet looks uh, mu rather amusing. Vikings of the Fifth Son. Holy crap, that was so outdated. I don't know how I didn't replace it sooner. All right. Go forth to victory. All right, another one.
The only problem with getting flying is that you can't do the uh, sending still space bar thing with a mount. Can't do the what? Uh, with the sending still and hit space bar while mounted. I see. Once you have flying, it just causes you to start flying. That makes sense, yeah. I am looking forward to our negotiations. nice to finally have some up-to-date gear for once. Apparently my pants were level 17 and I didn't realize it. Hopefully this time I should actually, you know, be able to tank hits. I or... noticed your health has gone up an awful lot. Yeah. <laughs> you you gained like, like 2,000 health. 2,000 yeah. health, holy balls. Yeah, my gear yeah. was... Yeah. Now I have the lowest HP. Yeah, five wonder, awesome. It makes me wonder how much of that uh, previous fight was uh, made harder by the uh, lack of gear. I don't know, but at least my weapons and armor are up to date now, so I can start grabbing everything. You don't have the lowest health by much. Am I even taking damage? Is it really that big a difference? 100%, 99%. You don't have a target. <laughs> like, looking over here, like, what? Yeah, I think part of the reason that was so hard might have been my gear, given my pants were level 17 somehow. But damage isn't reduced by a flat amount. This might be these enemies. It might just be I the enemies are weak. Yeah, none of these guys are particularly threatening. Uh, you get the uh, this one. Alright, we're gonna try out. Uh, 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 you know, let's wait until we reach the mid boss where we determine how much better my durability is or is not. Oh. Mind warp. Get something what first. Is it? Is it? Uh, it's a magic one. Yeah. Makes sense seeing as uh, our shtick. I require a target. The Oculus. Yeah, I, I really like the enemies that are doing second damage. I'm out of range, it makes me feel good. Like I said, let's wait until we actually reach the first mid boss because that's going to be a solid, a much better indicator of a. Uh... Whether I've actually gone that much stronger. Okay, we need to target something first. Ah, uh, speaking of which. Okay, he is the interrogator. 
Thundering Stomp stomps the ground, inflicting physical damage to all players, knocking them into the air. Probably don't stand near cliffs. <laughs> um, periodically summons unstable spheres, which explode after 20 seconds, inflicting arcane damage to all players. With, within 121, definitely not bugged yards. Uh, magic pull, he teleports all players to him. So, I guess range, just try to keep your distance without standing on the edge of the platform. Sounds good. The prisoners shall not go free. The word of Malagos is law. Explains it. I was in a pretty bad spot there. Oh. <laughs> Dead. That was ah. a really sentence executed. Okay. So and yeah, make sure you're dodging why? purple things. Can you fly? What? I condemn you to Wait, death. can you just jump on the platform again? Sentence executed. Oh, that was. Oh, that's that's an exit portal. <sighs> oh, why is that? <laughs> what the, the fuck? Good, good game design. I mean, it was behind oh, us from where we started. That was not remotely clear as an exit portal. So it you're. <laughs> did it even ask you? you... It didn't ask at all. It just said, "It just yeah, went, yeah. you're out of the dungeon now." <laughs> I couldn't uh... get back in either. Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh my! <laughs> so yeah, because we just gave... leave and do the new new one. Hold up! Hold up. Stellar Dungeon Finder. Uh, uh, next to your map. It might be hidden underneath one of your add-ons, but uh, teleport to dungeon. Teleport to dungeon. You look like a little eye. Uh, dungeon finder under group finder? Uh, on the top right by the map. Uh, it, oh, that's it might the be outfit hidden by from, one of your uh, add-ons. So you might have to drag it under, out of the way. But if you click on it, there's two options, which is lead instance group. Uh, there we are. It doesn't even say it's an exit at all, too. Oh, yeah. It yeah. just says orb of nexus. Yes, Orb of Nexus, as opposed to, you know, Nexus Portal. Or exit... Or exit the Nexus like it actually is. Well, Nexus Portal is the way forward. Oh. Orb of Nexus takes you out. <laughs> uh, we'll just have to be sure to put this soul, soul stone on tank again. Alright, looks like we're all together again. Yep. Uh, level, level, level. All set. Demon. Not yet, hold on. Oh, right. Buffs. Buff up. And also, be sure to list. Alrighty, here we go. Prisoners shall not go free. The word of Malagos is law. <laughs> I need to get away from these purple thingies. Yeah. 
Interrogator. That is uh, rough on a uh, mage. Yeah. It's like, oh, uh, my my build are casting, and this thing forces the, the purple orbs uh, force me to move around constantly. Your victory will be short. -lived. A struggle possessed. I am commander See of the Strider. Strider. My tricks control the Critical skies strike or versus and money. protect this conduit. I will spread. see to it personally that the Oculus does not fall into your hands. How are you? Safe travels. Have a good one. Okay, so we. So I guess we have to. I want to yeah. fly on the wings of the red flight. Yeah, talk to what the. What can I do for you? Target. Actually, looks like I can talk to any of the three of them. See you later. What Maybe? brings you here? <sighs> to exchange my ruby essence for. What abilities do the emerald drakes have? Oh Fair god. Uh, emerald drakes are mount mitigation. Pleased to meet you. Be seeing you. Salutations! Oh. Right. Can I help you? Off and away! Amber Drake. Uh, so uh, what do we do now? Damage. I didn't even like to see what the Ruby Drake did. I thought it was the only thing you could do. You can exchange your uh, essence for each one every one, so choose whichever you'd like. Okay. So what does this break? How do I get on the dragon? It's in your inventory. Inventory now. Oh. Okay. GPS crater Drake positioning system has your Drake. Huh? Well, let's do that. So we got two reds and a green. We need to destroy ten centrifuge constructs. Uh. Uh, I think I see what these things are. Centrifuge construct, yeah. Uh. Where are we going? Up Over here. here. Invalid target. Why can't I? Any oh, you have to attack enemy dragons. Oh. That's so why we have to fly away from there. But then how do we kill the center? Too far away. Yeah, we have to land and kill the center. They don't have a target. Trucks. I have no clue why the hell you... Okay. Guess there's less mount down there. I must get closer. Oh, someone pulled the dragon. And it died. Okay. So con... Yo, was... So I guess we just land down here and... I guess we'll land here, yeah. And just fight the centrifuge construct normally. Construct destroyed. I require a target. Alright, we can use the amber thing to mount up again. 
No, we don't. We need to kill more of these things. All right, all right, all right. But still in our inventory anytime we need it. Good to know. Dragons are here in case you don't have flight or something. So they're just to kill the other dragons. Oh yeah, they're good to kill the other dragons. Makes sense. Sadly inferior to the current one. No, no, no. What does the Oxen Statue do? Oxen Statue causes all enemies nearby to be aggroed towards it. If I provoke the statue, it will provoke all enemies. All the statues aggro gets transferred to me. So as far as tanking goes, it's pretty solid, I think. Now that that's done, uh, we get on our dragons and we ask, uh, ask him what to do the next. The boss. The boss has no shield right now. Shield down. Varos is vulnerable. Uh, we're gonna have to clear out some dragons. Oh crap. Yeah, I might not have to do that. It's fine. Uh, they seem to be like really easy to take out, to be honest. Yeah, they don't seem too tough. Alright, sounds good. Huh. Let's see what he does. Let me open the Ventures Guide here, see what he does here. And then all the loot went down to the ground. No one cares. Uh, 
Mark's a player Mark's increasing their damage. I just hate these dragons enough to do this. Alright, Amplify Magic. Varus can mark a player and increases the damage and healing received from spells. Interesting. Energized core. You're dragging this shit down, Jordan. Uh, they, they, they poison enemy dragons, leeching health every two seconds, stacks up to three times, and I guess the idea is that if I pull multiple dragons, I can put them on all of them, I guess. But yeah, it just seems to be shit. I was thinking, like, oh, it's the healer dragon, but it can't actually heal other people. Unfortunately. Alright, looks like... Alright, the, the, right, the main thing it looks like to watch out for this guy is he can energize a portion of the platform and inflicts damage to anyone standing within that section. He can I also can summon an annoying ad, it looks like. A channels a beam of arcane towards a player, inflicting damage to all players within the AoE around them. So we spread out, try and avoid standing in anywhere he energizes, take out the ad quickly. If he marks someone, that does t make them take more damage, but they get healed more, so it's kind of a catch-22. Alright, I think he should be pretty easy. Yeah. Real set. Like, I think the tank has to literally stand in the, like, whole opposite side from the, uh, everybody. I guess, yeah. So, so I avoided it a couple times, but I was barely on the, the edge of it. Yeah. Uh, Stellar, you don't need to go anywhere, you can just not up. Yeah. <laughs> I had already figured it out. I got there and then I was like, wait a second. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go for here. Oh. Or well, I guess it depends on where the, he's pulled the boss. Or the tank. Go to the other side of the platform or something. Yeah, cause like, it could, I'm pretty sure where we're standing, like, I think right about here is probably where you're safe from them using that AoE ability. Like way the hell back here, it's pretty fucking... Pretty big. Okay. So you probably should have more to one side of the arena. Well, uh, buff up. And don't forget about must. Alright, ready? Alright, here we go. There will be no I can kick you further a little further away. Yeah, as I was thinking, trying to bring the sword. Right now! Obliterate them! How do I stop the beam? Okay, I just stop the beam. Okay, does not okay, how was I not hit? Or do you have to Oh crap, we lost the healer. 
Should we just jump off the cliff and reset? Oh, I got no that. Prisoners. Attack! It just hits for so hard the with energy more than I don't see. Is ours. Oh, you guys are the guys reading the adventure guide. Uh, you should also read it and try to figure this out with us. Thing is, there's not much detail in it. I guess he's just a very straightforward boss. The very straightforward. Just said, it energizes a portion of the platforms within that section of the platform. Does he mean like the center? No, because it's hitting us on the edges. There wouldn't be like any indication on the platform. It grows clouds, Strider. I'm gonna Google this. I didn't know resurrecting increased horde relations, expedition relations. Up then. If you so there's like a triangle basically that he uh, of lightning that he shoots out, and you need to get out of it or something. Uh, okay, not super. Does, it, does yeah. do we know if the triangle points in a specific direction from when he's casting? Is there any specific shape you can tell that isn't? It's a little more easy to pick up on. And how do we deal with those be annoying beams from the blue guys? We just kill them quickly, or...? I, I don't know. I'm looking this up. I'm getting I'm getting guides from 2008, which are about as useful as you'd expect them to be. Probably be best just to go back to Panda after this one. Might not be a bad idea. The ver okay, so he shoots two different thickness of lasers after a brief tank and spec phase. There are four to five beams connecting to his body during the spell to the orbs on the outer edge. The first set, very thin lasers, cause no damage whatsoever and are used as an indicator of where people should not be standing. The second is a set of lasers, thick and painful, are exactly where the thin ones previously were and will fry whoever is standing uh, within up to up to X amount it says 7 to 8k but that's obviously scaling right the scaling is a lot different now three to four seconds between those sets of lasers to move yourself around the whole group will be basically strafing around in giant circles on the side of the platform the boss currently isn't marking uh, with the tank eating up the zaps uh, with the, when done correctly, the tank should be the only one getting hit. Yeah, that makes sense because I can actually, like, I, I can heal you fine if it's just you, but when it's, when everyone gets hit by, uh, by a 2k hit. That's a bit much, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, tanks, tank him directly in the center of the platform and try to keep him from moving as little as possible. Take note of the small lasers, make sure, wait, what? I get. I, I guess. I guess you can avoid it, but it's important for you to not move the guy. Yeah, because the AOE. Um. DPS and healers stay close to him as as close as possible, so that when we see the lasers, we can move. Okay. Okay. So you gotta be close to him, not far away from him. Yes. Okay. No. Alright. Okay. Uh, buff. Shield. Ready? Ready? Ready checks are four, but whatever. There we go. Okay, so that's the lightning. Nice. 
that's where he's going to be firing. Right Stay away from that. That's going to be now another Now that I know what I'm looking for, the triangle is uh, pretty obvious. because the first indicator of it is just a light beam that does nothing. It's not immediately obvious uh, that was something important to pay attention to. Yeah. All well, right. well, well, before knowing it was a triangle, it just kind of looked like a massive electrical thing just spreading out everywhere from the angle of getting hit from... Ah, uh, the mage dude here. Yes. Mage Lord Uram is our next target. He should be hiding on one of the floating pillars on the band of transmutation, wherever that is. Literally just right. Yeah, just basically right up a bit above him where we just were. Where are you going, Rotor? Come back here. Cross damage and freeze the ground. Periodic damage is slowing if you're... Time bomb. Arcane damage to a red player. Six second explodes. So basically, if you get time bomb on, you separate from everyone else. Powered arcane. Mage right. Lord sends out uh, a deadly wave of magic, dealing damage to all players within his line of sight, which means that Break. this tree is important. All right, so I'll I'll make him near the tree, and when he uses it, we just go to the other side. Sound good? All right, we all set. I think so. Yep. All right, here we go. I'm out of range. Of course, I just mentioned we have to do what he's meant to as well as he was. So I get uh, hunt him down, okay. Oh, he's over there on the other side. Alright, so we're probably gonna have to do this a few times before he decides to take us seriously. I guess it was a bit too easy after all. Okay. Alright, so remember to pay attention to the trees. on you. Many of these are phantasmal monsters, yet they leave physical loot. Actual loot. They're also skinnable. Oh, interesting. Do they give phantasmal skin or something like that? That would actually make a little... S that wouldn't make much sense, but it would at least uh, be... At least see uh, where they're coming uh, we'll just move ourselves. Uh, as... Well, I don't know how people can move dur during combat, but we probably want to. Too far away.
Oh, you have a poison on you, which I cannot remove. Interesting. How annoying. Looks like he's back where we started, or...? No. Yeah, he's down here. Well, sort of. He's, he's, he's down here in the center. Um... I am. So, these are the line of sight things we need to do. I remember... A, I have vague recollections of doing this at one point. Uh... So, he's gonna continually put out frost spikes that we're basically gonna need to move around the platform as well. Um, in other words, this is a great boss to lust, because the sooner he's dead, uh, the less we have to deal with this shit. Sounds like a good deep for a DPS check. Behind cover, get behind cover. Now we're going to throw a big fireball. No. Got the entire way to go. I my death. So much unstable energy! Oh god. Worth the risk to destroy you! Too far away. I'm really oh, close to be good at time right about now. Do you? We're gonna have to just DPS him down and hope it's enough. I'm dead. That yeah, ice was that real ridiculously. Do yeah, you? uh. Ball dropped. I'm guessing you didn't have the right cut out. What bloodlust is primal rage? I'm wondering what the hell you're talking about. When we say bloodlust, we mean that. It's for everyone. Everyone has this. <laughs> okay, there's bloodlust, heroism, time warp, primal rage. Everyone calls it bloodlust. <laughs> They're all the same ability. They do the same thing. They go off the same cooldown. If someone bloodlusts, you can't do it. That's why everyone calls it the same thing. Because it, that way it's way less confusing. That's why would make again take to say at the beginning okay. of it. Okay. Oh, well, if you wait third. Well, now you know. Uh, okay. Geo Joe. Uh, so, so. Yeah, <laughs> so I'll be fine when we're. Uh, tilted. Uh, we can go here, by the way. If anyone needs it. Yeah, sure, why not? Mm, might as well. Oh, do I have a deal for you? And sell off all this crap. For real? It's 100% useless. I got what you need! Yep. Right back! Can't believe I can't sell off the Emerald Essence. Talk to me! It only has a duration of 33 minutes. Excuse me? Well, for real. Got buffs. Got everything. I got it. Repairs. We need to for the first thing. All right, we all set. I can't wait until you get time warp. For blind fool. Yes. Get closer. Uh, I'm out ow. of range. Oh, oh, that was me being hit. I can't. I'm the spell leavers. We're doing all this stuff. I had the time bomb detonation. Uh, 
not. I must get closer. For your mage. Well, if you were your healer, uh, but now it's getting quite a little bit with this mage. Oh, the point, I forgot, I just wasn't quiet. Yeah, well. But worth oh god, the risk I am. Why is it? Why am I still slow? Oh, oh we really just really lost our healer. Just DPS. Get 17,000. DPS race pop, now. Pop your defensive if you got it. Go to town. But you guys probably have this, to be quite honest. Maybe. No. Evidently not. Did everyone die? Oh, okay. Yep. I, I saw the health values over there and. Really. I think we're gonna have to put the uh, put a soul put a soul stone on Rotorin. Yeah, it might be worth it. Also, go in the opposite direction from where we are running from. Uh, when he's laying down his little ice field, go away from the rest of the DPS. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Right, let's wait for the ice to despawn real quick. Are you still taking tick damage over there? Yes, you are. Yep. Uh, yeah. Ice is still here. Ah. Ah. Uh. Of course, right, let's wait for the other side of the ice. No, the ice again. Alright, let's go. Into like buffs, don't forget. Alright, here we go. What the? He went to you instead of me. You uh, not stand anywhere better. You have yeah. set in motion. <laughs> Could you not stand in the ice, Mr. The Leyline conduit will not be disrupted. Your defeat shall be absolute. Lay Guardian Aragos is next. Um... Oh boy. That was. That was annoying. <laughs> It was very annoying, yes. And now we get to do it again for the last boss. I assume he's at the top, yeah. Yep. Ooh, it'd be nice if we could fight him while riding our dragons. That would make it a very fun battle. Oh, yes. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, late guardian. Even heroes will tremble before him. Uh, did he just what? talk to someone else? Like casting something. Stop time. He's frozen in time. <laughs> Wait, did, did I freeze him in time? Wait, do you fight him with the dragons? 
I'd like it if we did. That would be fun. We can kind of find and find out. He has he so has much so health. Much. We I think we found the dragons. He has way too much health. Otherwise, yes, we do. <laughs> All right, but this also means I don't need to tank him, so I can just. You use brash him. interlopers are out of your element. Uh, somebody's gonna oh, boy. We'll ground. All right, uh, friend, as long friend, as I'm channeled, he takes more damage. Friendly. Oh, I'm increasing its damage. The damage he's taking. So. uh... You guys just have fun with that. I froze him uh, in time, so he's kind of, of boned. Oh wow, this was huge. He was frozen in time. <laughs> I can't. Exciting boss fight. I'm sure glad that this was done instead of something else. Well, this was actually fun. Um, this was actually fun, unlike the uh, ice floor bit. That's for sure. I walked up to a boss and hit one until it fell over. <laughs> I wouldn't call that fun. Oh, it might have just fell that way because I was using the thing to increase the damage you guys are dealing and then used my uh, time stop to make sure he couldn't get you. you. Okay. Yeah, I was using the damage increasing thing too. So, so I, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I hit two once and it hurts me for half my health. Uh, and then... Yeah, that... Oh, gee, hit oh, level 7, seven. or 37 so I get an extra charge on my... Uh, <laughs> Screw uh, off, Laywell. Can I get on my... Okay. Why are we die? Because there's a, 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 a Laywell glitched into this wall. Die. I, I went, I was going back to hand in the quest. He's yeah. up here. <laughs> Yeah, he's right up here. Okay. okay, well... Wait, where is he up here? Oh, right on the platform. Right. Yeah. Also, I love how time stop appears to affect the entire map. That's a pretty cool effect, actually. Yeah, I Is that something you're doing, or is it... Copper Dragons got it, yeah. Yeah, the Yellow Dragon. Oh, the Copper Dragons. Yeah, the Yellow Dragons freeze time temporarily. Okay, and like, I get that, like... Mages that have like time shenanigan stuff. That seems a little bit much. Yeah. I guess they intended for the green one to be damaged over time, the yellow to be support, and the red to be a tank. Uh, the oh, green one. Uh, the... And a magic effect from enemies. The green one can sacrifice its HP and give it to allies. Oh, I see. Uh, while training, a while training HP for the enemies is the idea. So it's supposed to be the healer one, but it seems like it's just. It probably can just be done by just having a bunch of copper dragons cheese it. Probably. I wonder if it's relevant to require a decent mix, bosses. but... If you could just time freeze the bosses. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. Oh, it specifies oh, dragon. It specifies dragons into the uh, ability. Okay, so it freezes good. only all the dragons. Damn. Well, as long as it's clear in the description, right? Alright, we're gonna be... Uh... I have Mass Resurrection. Is it an in-combat ability? No. <laughs> I figured that would be a <laughs> much. Resurrect everyone. Definitely an in-combat <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. Uh, this is for... Uh... The soul stone a healer when it's about to uh, when you're about to wipe in a raid, and then the healer gets up and casts mass mass resurrect uh, after the fight's ended. That makes sense. Drag. I'm going to be right back for just a minute. Need to use the bathroom right quick. All right. May as well, we'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and repair everything while I'm here then. I'm sure when that dungeon was new and relevant, it was probably it probably required careful management of exactly which uh, dragons you'd take with you. But yeah, maybe.
What are you looking for? Blood and thunder. There we are. Go forth to victory. Okay, yeah, de I've been definitely feeling the big upgrades uh, now. Basically, all my gear is low item level 40 or higher, except for the trinkets, I guess. But everything else is very solid. I still have zero trinkets. Yeah, it's the weakest point for me as well. Why but do you have no trinkets. I have no trinkets. Why don't you get the heirloom ones? They're heirloom trinkets? <laughs> yes! I'll buy some heirloom trinkets, I guess. Anyway, I'm back. And if I'm... you have no trinkets, you probably 100% should just get the, uh, go grab those real quick. Right. Um... And my gear's all in good shape. I'd say I'm pretty set. Probably have to grab swap characters to grab them, but okay. So basically, I pick up two of these heirloom trinkets, and uh, they're literally uh, use on cooldown. <laughs> Restore about the same amount of health as a shadow band. Five minute cooldown. <laughs> yeah, the use thing isn't their main draw. It's more the fact that it's more the fact that it's. Five inch what? Seven stamina and uh, eleven secondary stat. Oh wait, that was a neck piece. Yep, they have neck pieces. I think I got the Eternal Horizon Choker thing. Speak quickly. Well, then, I'm gonna switch characters so I can actually uh, buy more than that. Trust no one. Seeing as I've gotten zero trinkets so far, I don't really trust myself to get any more. It's good to see you. Am I really the only person who never got any trinkets? I just got screwed and didn't even realize it? It's possible, I've got my trinkets. Hey. So? <laughs> That's awful. Well, I thought those were trinkets when I bought them, and, uh, but obviously they weren't. Whoops. I'm gonna have to get uh, back to Ogremar to actually buy that stuff. Does Kay have a summoning portal yet? <laughs> so no. Sad times. Now, clearly, you should. Uh, I wonder if you can summon. Uh... Oh, ri summoning begins a ritual to summon a portal requiring the caster and two allies to complete. Yes, that's. Uh, that is that. Well, we'd have to add uh, Rotter into the party, or his. Uh... Yes. Usually, you'd want to kick out. Uh... Kick out, kick out Elf for a moment. Yeah. And then reinvite you on your new character. Well, uh, on copper pistol so that I can go back to Illidan and spend a fuck ton of money, or Ogremar and spend a fuck ton of money. Until next time. Hmm. Haven't we done this 
this before? You did not give me the... Did you not get the invite thing to click? No. Uh, I have to do the request. Screw the right click and click order. request. Uh, I am requesting. Yeah, that's on your uh, Jasper Yeah, so, I'm not getting any sort of indicator that he's requesting it. Maybe it's because you're like. Maybe it's because of the party sync? Well, I guess I'm flying to Oribos, so I'll start doing that. I see, like, Keshka has invited you to join a group, but. And requesting an invite just makes I'm not sure. Didn't what happen. Oh dear, I remember that happened the other day, last week. Yeah. Sub sub. So we figured out. Oh, last time to fix it, we had to uh, have the person wanting to join request an invite. Yeah, wow. I had to go to the friends list and uh, request. I go group. for stealth. Mm. Yeah. Well, I, I can Jasper try. is a party leader, so. Yes, I and I'm just trying. Spamming the request to join group, but it's evidently not doing anything. Uh, you're already in group. group. Invite, okay. so we have to wait. Yeah, you're, you're also apparently already in a group order for whatever reason. I don't see how. I'm not part of the group. But he has an open invite going on. So it'll say he's part of the group. Oh, I've. Oh, gosh. Um. Alright, now you should go to request. Requested. And it didn't give me anything. Orobos before this actually works. Yeah. I, I am heading to Orobos at this point. I'm at the in between at this point. Yeah, no, I just find it. There's no wait. That's stupid. I wonder if it's because I'm in the Shadowlands area. Or something. Side of the inn. Kaya is killing himself. I'm guessing Kaya has the burning fire walk now. Yes, I think that's what it is. Luckily, I saved him. UI? 
That's uh That's a cool me? UI bug. What's happening now? I'm just messing with my transmog stuff, see if I can find what something cool. Cool. Uh check out the WoW channel for uh some fantastic UI. Um uh, sounds like you should do slash reload. Oh, that's Yeah, it seems like so that you need to do slash reload. Mm-hmm. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna take the a uh, haste one and oh, then wow. this intellect one. Welcome. Well, safe. Fair heritage stuff looks pretty good, I think. I should really get the rest of the allied races unlocked at some point. I only have the Volpera and High Mountain Tarn on the Horde side, and the uh, Void Elves and Lightforge Trainee in the Alliance side. Zendalari Troll, probably. They're, the, they're a good one. Is Zendalari? Yeah, a, yeah, I should probably do it on my mage. more effort to unlock than the significant more effort to unlock than the Volpera, I felt like. Uh, because not only do you have to be all three of the uh, Zendalar campaigns, but you also have to then do the. Uh, War campaign stuff. I should be able to do that. I'll, I've already done that on my Pandora, and so I should probably just finish it off and get the Zundalari unlocked with her then. It should be very easy now that I've gotten the uh, full uh, Covenant gear set up on her. It should last for anything the game throws at me unless I decide to raid or something, but I'm not planning to do any hardcore raiding, that's for sure. The only problem will be trying to do the dungeons. Since you can't use Chromie. True. Well, technically I can still do the dungeons, they're just gonna be piss easy. Because they don't scale after okay. 50. Victory! Yeah, I think I mentioned before, but I he ended up going with Pandaren Mage because I thought, ooh, Pandaren gain a bonus from food, and mages can conjure food, as well as portals and other really nice utility stuff that made me want to choose mage in the first place, but it didn't work out you as you saw it didn't work as well as, as expected. Eh, not a problem. Yeah the, thing about, yeah, the thing about that is that the double effect from food is for it is mostly for the buff, not the Yeah, yeah. Uh, not but the I still don't regret I'm probably gonna grind up the uh if I stick, yeah, stick around with them as long as friends are there. So if you guys are gonna be here, I'll probably end up grinding up my uh, cooking on my Pandaren just because it's a synergistic uh, skill, you know. There's a daily quest that lets you level your cooking as well. I uh, yeah, the one in Ogremar. I do that one on occasion when I'm not lazy. What can I do? Alright, and one piece of armor, I guess I'll do the mold because... That is gonna give the biggest stats. Strength. And I don't need that amulet anymore. Now that I've got the new one. Yeah, I feel like every single one of my slots has been upgraded through the dungeon drops and quest items, so I'm feeling pretty good about anything we do next. Yep, I'm swapping back to my other character now. I should really stop being lazy and also unlock trinkets on my own characters. Heirlooms, I mean. Honestly, uh, looking at the effects that they give, um, uh, I was like, ha, huh, these aren't... Uh, I think These aren't are incredible effects. Well, given the alternative was basically nothing. The only time I didn't need to help my own characters level up afterward was the Death Knight, and that's because Death Knights basically start with a full kit and everything. Uh, could you s send that invite again? I think. Odd, I'm not seeing the button. 
Maybe you need to reload. I just uh, did. Okay, try joining, requesting an invite, and that will fix a lot of sun. I think let's wait for the group invite to expire. Collection. Chat looms. That. Oh, yeah, a question. If we end up making it all the way to the, uh... If we end up making it to Shadowlands content, will we continue doing the Shadowlands dungeons to level from there? Or will we do the storyline, covenant, world quests, or what? Uh, assuming... Uh, the problem with Shadowlands is getting gear reliably. Yeah, that's why I usually go through, that's why for any character that made it there, I've decided to just do the storyline stuff for easy access to the gear there. Although I guess you could also start with the Covenant stuff right away and get gear uh, for- If you do Threat of Fate, you get to see your Covenant instantly. Uh, which yeah. means access to that campaign. Yeah, and that's also yeah. going to be good stuff, so that's good to keep in mind. Alright, uh... Why does it say that I only have... Wait. What? That's strange. I could swear I had more weapons. The set bonus thinks I only have... Two pieces of it. Equipped, even though I clearly have more. Even though I clearly have five of what? Uh, what does the set bonus say for it equipment? Mask and wear. robe. Set bonus. Sorry, what? Uh, does it say what kind of pieces if you hover like set bonus and what kind of pieces you need to wear for it? Tattered Dreadmist robe, uh, tattered Dreadmist rat mask, heirloom shoulder. Wait, heir heirloom shoulders. It's just called heirloom shoulders. I am wearing heirloom shoulders. I am wearing heirloom leggings. I am wearing an heirloom necklace. Uh, not wearing heirloom rings, but it says all sorts of things I'm not wearing that I am. Also, yeah, I'm just going to restart World of Warcraft at this point, because it seems broken. Undead Death Knight. Isn't that a little redundant since Death Knights are already undead? Granted, they do seem to be a bit of a different breed, since I know the uh, Forsaken Undead do rot and stuff and have to replace body parts, but the Death Knights don't. That's because a Death Knight is any of the standard races that has been brought back as a Death Knight. Right. I know there's something I haven't seen in MMO in years. Well, actually, more like ages. Real-time uh, ships and travel and stuff. In fact, even when I decided to level my Void Elf with the Lich King storyline stuff, I ended up having to wait a bit for the boat and then wait for it to travel to Northrend. I thought that was really neat. I remember in Guild Wars 2, uh, in uh, one map, Dragonfall in particular, uh, there's actually an airship that's helping uh, you out as it flies around the map. And you can actually get on top of it. Oh, that's neat. 
And it's just flying slowly around the entire area. What and it only helps the people it's close to. For the Horde! Strange, I could swear I had the uh Benthi or the vampire rapier as a transmog option, but for some reason when I went to change my sword into it for my Volpera, it didn't show up as an option. Alright. I am back in. Try sending me one. That aside, I will say that they I like that this game decided to go with the more monstrous looking vampires rather than the more tradition one the more modern versions. I thought that was a neat choice. Aesthetic decision. Aha! After 10,000 years, I'm free! Oh. Nice. Time to conquer Earth. See, it's a Power Rangers reference. You're all supposed to laugh. Edict of Arcus? That maybe would have been more I mean, funny if you said time to conquer Azeroth or something like that, given the theme. Too many back to Since those give pretty good rewards. Also, I gotta be honest, they, they seem a lot better balanced. Like, they seem like actual enca uh, encounters with, like, design behind them. Uh, as opposed to the guy who, uh... Stunts the entire party for eight seconds, and then kills, and then takes off fifty percent of the tank's health for the laps too. Or the opposite extreme, the Battle for Azeroth writers who basically didn't do anything. I don't know. I feel I feel like they actually at least <laughs> the encounters at least don't feel broken, but that also could be just time uh, bug. You, you change your engine slowly over time, bugs get introduced. Yeah, I think that I, might also I be part of it. You, I guarantee you that it Turn wasn't always channels. just... Oh, when, when it released, uh, he didn't come off and then just hit someone. It's something changed over time that caused that, and it just never got fixed. Travel yeah, save. it's possible, and the more... The more the game has grown, the more spaghetti code it's gotten, no doubt. Because as someone who's actually worked with code, I've learned how far too easy that sort of thing is to happen. It's because Ion doesn't care about redoing old things. He straight up said this. Yeah, I was probably working fine when it was relevant. I need to target something first. Here we are. But we're probably gonna have to fight everyone, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I got stunned. I am banished. You're banished to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, it definitely meant tank is dead. Hey, Chroma, you're now our tank. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I got him. I don't have a target. Well, thankfully, the Black Ox saved our butts. Alright, uh, let's try to pull a little more control like, instead of running around the floor and having to with it. Pull a lot of roamers around, so let's be careful about those. Here we are. Oh, Chaos doing destruction. Didn't realize that. Probably gonna have to do everything. Kill everything in here, so let's bring these all over here. Grab that line. Too 
far away. Uh, this is the way it wants us to go. So you might not have to kill everyone. Oh, good. Oh, well, I'm about to kill all four of these guys. Dang, these guys are really filling my uh, stagger meter. Oh crap. I got more than that. I gotcha. Alrighty. Oh, right. I moved the revive over there. Because I really don't want it on my. anywhere near my bar in combat. Ogu cannot reclaim our rightful glory without our clan strength! Ah, oh, crap. I was hoping to just get one, but now I got four. Ogu cannot reclaim our rightful glory without our clan strength! Of course, it stuns me. Dang, this guy's really repetitive. I imagine these grunts are gonna aggro come the next, uh... Alright, so Trial of Kings. This guy boss, let me check the adventure guide here. Uh, Trial of Kings. To the way set forth by the ancients. Oh, we just killed a bunch of enemies. The king's favor above all yes. others. So, first one seems to be Zin the Weapon Master. No, wait, he doesn't seem to be any of them. These Zin other is the last boss, but aren't worthy of your time, great king. This is uh. So basically, they throw us off a handful of people as the trial of the king. Yes. So, first is Mushiba. Uh, Mushiba tackles a random player to the ground and then ravages them. Ravage inflicts a bunch of physical damage for 10 seconds. Defeating him ends this effect early. So basically, he's, uh, I have to continue healing someone while they get beat the shit out of. These um, other clans aren't worthy but of your also time, sends Shockwave team. along the ground in front of him. The Shockwave launches any player hit into the air. Players suffer physical damage based on how far they fall. It says it's deadly. And I imagine that as we are Volpera, we're going to fall very far. Well, uh, I guess keep in mind slow fall. These other uh, clans are nothing! You have that as well, Stella, right? Levitate? Uh... Yeah... So you might have to cast Levitate on yourself uh, if you get hit by that. Alright, well, let's get our buffs I'll up. Try to, I'll, I'll try to pay attention to someone going flying into the air, but... Uh, uh, if you do get sent into the air, call out to me so that I know who, they, who it is. Alright, ready? Um, ready? No, that's just the first guy. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, oh. Lightning, uh, lightning bolt is interruptible. Uh, Ming the Cunning summons a, wheel, uh, a whirling dervish that randomly moves about the arena, knocking back players and dealing damage to them. Uh, he spins in place, creating a magnet magnetic field that pulls in nearby creatures into the vortex. Creatures in the vortex suffer damage, so please run away from the, uh, the vortex. Uh, that's it for him. Uh, the last guy basically has Meteor. Uh, it's going to put an AoE uh, targeted on someone, and everyone needs to soak that to divide the damage. Alright. Uh, he also inflicts 200% of his weapon damages, physical damage to his current targets, and then receives 50% less healing for the next 5 seconds. Oh, wonderful healing reduction. Yes, wonderful. 
Uh, basically, if you get hit by that, um, I don't know, that's probably time to mitigate. Yeah. Luckily, I got a few, like, Zen meditation ready for this. Alright, let's go, people. Even the gods you give me in tribute can't keep these flesh of beings from my palace. Read the name. Prove yourselves now. Deal with these intruders. The clan who brings me their heads will have my favor. I'll do it like at the same time. Clan Hathak will show all why they are the truest of Mogu. Okay, so it goes in a random order. Here, but he's got a meteor. Remember, everyone's got a soap. Just stay looking for our immune to interrupt the lightning bolt. Wonderful. Uh, if you're trying to use your stuff, you can't interrupt the True clan. No well, interloper really can change anything. that. Clan Kargesh will demonstrate why only the strong deserve to stand uh, at our king's side. I think this guy has a meteor, yeah. Yeah, if you get the combo gate, get away from everyone else. Right. Impossible! Our might is the greatest in all the Empire. Clan Gerfin will show our king and the rest of you power hungry and we are the rightful oh, we take that Holy crap. Oh god, you are dead. Yeah, he got mulched. Flying. Yeah, I got completely mulched there. Oh. Stay alive. The glory of Gerthin. Dang it. Uh, I think we ha the DPS have to focus down the uh, pet first and then go to Kuai. Yeah, I guess. Well, I was already focusing the pet. Yeah, I, so. I guess there were a lot more guys than we s saw in this list. Or no, we saw no, all three of them. They just got a random order. There was no mention of a pet. It did Far mention away, the pet. But, Mushima yeah. is the brute's loyal. It is why the brute's loyal companion and ceases fighting after the players defeat his master. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it did mention the pet. It just, but I guess they didn't directly state it, so it could have been more clear. Looks like we gotta do it all over again. Yeah, fortunately. Yeah, fortunately. One, one boss encounter. So we're focusing the pup on the guy or the big yeah. guy on that one. Okay. Yeah, the pet hub first. So. Basically, yeah, we have to fight these three, and whoever, and but the order is random, basically. Buffs. Don't forget buffs, don't forget buffs, 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 buffs. And don't forget to the soldier manga. Clan Hathak will show all why they are the truest of Mogu. <laughs>
can't attack that. Not uh, sure what's 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 has changed by him. Fair bit of fucking damage. Oh crap! And the rest of you. Oh yeah, like I said, it's a random order. Oh crap! I need to use this a few. No worries. Got it. So far, hole in the tank, please. Okay, I survived it. Probably deadly for non-tanks, I imagine. This guy's actually feeling my stagger meter really, really quickly. I think he's really tough. Surrender our right to rule the destiny of our people. Here we are. Give Kargesh will demonstrate why only the strong deserve to stand at our king's side. Yeah, this guy doesn't have as much HP, it looks like. Alright, if you have it, be sure to stay with me. Oh, Impossible! Our might is the greatest in all the Empire! Trial the King defeated. Who allowed these outsiders in our halls? Only Clan Harthak or Clan Kargesh would stoop to such treachery. Only yeah, the dogs of Clan Gothan would point fingers of others for their own failures. Your clan is, is the most desperate. Just it must here. have been you. Oh, okay. Clan Gothan is right. Only the ownerless Clan Harthak could bring in a lesser race to do their bidding. Must be traitors. Run downstairs with some of the treasure. A well scripted exchange, but we are not fooled. Your clans are clearly in league with one another. For the glory of our king. I think we might have just started a war. We'll put you all down. A civil war. Oh dear. I mean, we were already watching them fight in their palace, so. Feels like they were already uh, starting a war. I guess in that case, it might be probably better they're fighting amongst themselves rather than us. Right. Oh, okay. He shots a warning. I was like, oh, one guy. Oh, yeah, I guess we should have known saying. it would be too easy, right? Yeah, I'll definitely won't be doing that anymore. Like one guy, it's not a big deal. We can like, kill them all while we're talking. No, that's a trap. Got him. Man, touch of death never fails to be fun to just to use like that. Okay, so now we know. We see one guy by themselves. Oh, oh my! Now we know. Uh, when we see no guys by themselves, I must get closer. <laughs> I'm so good. Shanked. Shanked like ham. Wow, they're stun locking me. Well, better me than you than you guys, right? Yeah, you're fine. They're filling up my stagger meter pretty quick, though, that's for sure. That's just because you're not clearing it. But. That's true. I do try to spam purifying blue brew as much as I can. Got to take There's no way we're escaping these guys. I'm out of range. 
I don't know what the heck this old card is, but I don't know if they didn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's one of their Oh, come with that. Burn. Uh, is it a curse? Not. Oh, I get them with curses. Be reduced. That's what all it is. Alright. Boiled silkworm pupa. That's uh, a food. Clearly go right and go through the treasure chest over there. Ooh. Now watch as the enemies steal it as we get close. Oh, the keys are for the... Yeah, see, they are. Oh, they have, like, yeah, the right oh. These guys are basically something first. Alright, so we need to get all these books, it looks like. Nothing. Rip. Oh, there's a treasure chest on the other side as well. I must get closer. Are these also no, infinite no, respawns? The side I require right a target. So. Okay. Now. Also, the you know, green horns seem to respawn infinitely. What if we killed the oracle? Uh, that's what I was thinking, yeah. They seem to respawn infinitely, so we might as well try to find something to do. Gonna... Oh, here. I mean, I think it was a good year to do. Yeah, I think you shot my AO as well. That really pushed them out of the AOE. They moved like three seconds. I have the chest back here. There is. Also, the second boss is right there. Uh, we have the quest for the Yeah, yeah. Uh, next chest is up here. Bow of the Swift. Ancient Mogu key not obtained. And we can worry about Gekkon later. For now, we need to rob the place blind. Ah, yes. That is definitely not the balance of all things. The legendary battle ends. I can't attack that target. There we are, all relics obtained. I'm guessing we're out of keys. I wonder if there's even any loot in those things. I don't think there is, honestly. I think the only reason they exist is so that we can look for them. Alright, we about. Right, we about. Alright, let me get these guys here. Just. I'm out of range! Stop now. Oh crap. Oh crap. I got the interrupt. Well, fuck it, it's a million here. I didn't think he'd be, uh, there's a hero somewhere. Get Oracle, my bet. Good, he's done. Thank goodness, too. I'm sorry. 
get uh, enemies. Reckless inspiration. I guess the more we kill his allies, the more pissed off he gets. Sadly, without his allies, he's also lost his biggest threat. I need to target something first. Okay, I guess I'm. Oh, hey, we can actually rob this uh, treasure loot. That's probably the boss loot. Yeah, it's supposed to be the boss loot, but hey, it's yeah. a. Uh, we can I guess I'll open this one right here. Yeah, that's the one we need. Oh, hey, Stiller. You might have a. Uh... Mm -hmm. I check to see if you actually picked up any treasure in your inventory. What do you mean treasure? Oh, uh, I nice. see. Ancient Mogu treasure. Gems that are absolutely worthless. Rogue stone. Rogue oh, better. There's an elevator. Yeah. No. Of course, we just oh, missed it. Everyone. Oh gosh, that is going a long. Okay, it stopped. Does anyone need a uh, cloak? Oh wait, never mind. Agility. Uh, Alex, do you need a cloak? Level forty. Uh, let's see here. My current cloak is level 38. But it's an intellect one and not a yes, agility one. Yes, you would be wrong. Yeah, I would benefit very uh, much from an agility cloak. Cloth users, do you have. What, what, Roderick, what level are your gloves? Gloves. Yes. Um, 42. Oh, thanks. What about K, I wonder? I was level 37. Well, I'm just one level off that. Oh, here, uh, you'll have to tell me. I think we want to go left. Yeah, we want to go left. Uh, wait up for the others. Let's wait for the others, yeah. I don't think uh, we can take these guys on just us. Well, I guess the mix of the sound and the effect it has on the target, since it blackens the body and all that. Before we move on, what is to the left and right? Some scrying or um, yeah. Too far away. Uh, Do we have a quest? We poke them? I guess it wouldn't hurt to poke them. Let's see what happen. Poke them and see what happens then. I guess you go the other side. Maybe it's the maybe those statues grant the boss the last boss power, and by breaking them, we're making them easier. 
Actually, the other strong stone on the other side is gone now. Or, no? There, okay, it just didn't load in. It didn't load in, yeah. Alright, here we go. Somebody already use it? Yeah, it looks like so yeah, somebody used uh, the star. Huh. No. Weird. Eh. Uh -huh. Well, there's a lot of roamers here, so how about we uh, take care of them? Dang, they're really filling my meter. I'm out of range. Too far away. I don't have a target. There we go. What is this? More have come to claim my crown. They are small and weak. Oh, he's got a lot of abilities. Uh, let's see if I can pull these up pulling him. Because these guys, we should clear out first, obviously. Apparently, not obvious, but. I, I would have assumed that they were part of it. Yeah, that was a pretty. That was a bit of a dice hole there. They were really fucking close. That was my concern, but. There's been a lot of bosses with enemies right next to them and they don't aggro until after. Oh, well, I take, I the, we take the boss of the lizard and, uh, as the most recent example. Oh, oh that's it? true, yeah. But that was the exception. The last <laughs> And of course, Sinan is sitting right next to him. Um. Jam shatters. <laughs> Uh, you know, we're probably supposed to hit him with that stuff. How did you turn that on? Or what? Is that the gem shatters? Did you break something? Uh. Oh, does this hurt? No. Okay, yeah, it does hurt. Oh, not an incredible amount, and you can get past without getting hit. Alright, let's okay. check the adventure's guide for Zin here. Ooh, there's something important for the tank. On the swords. Okay, tank alert. Zin slams the ground in front of him, inflicting 1,800 physical damage and decreasing the armor of enemies in a uh, definitely not that size of cone in front of him by 25% for 20 seconds. This effect stacks. So basically face him away and then move out of it. Yeah. That's definitely uh, something to be careful of because I can't afford to let my defense get reduced. Yeah. Um, Circle of Flames, he animates a staff from his arsenal. The staff circles a random enemy in flame, detonating once the circle completes the explosion. Inflicts uh, about 1500 damage and knocks the enemy into the air. Setting Same. roar. Uh, he cries out a bellowing roar, activating the arsenal of his choice and inflicting 900 damage to all enemies. Whirlwind so, uh, Looks like Stellar already activated one of his abilities. You just click on it, I was like, okay, oh, maybe this is something. Uh, oh, Blade Trap at 66% health. Zin activates his sword traps. The stream of blades inflicts 500 damage every half a second to those caught in the path. Of course, why can players crack with I what? don't know, it just had the gem shattered and then this thing started. <gasps> okay. Zin animates hit the axes in his arsenal. These axes in, uh, inflict a thousand physical damage to enemies within uh, a certain number of yards, knocking them back. Again, these tooltips are kind of bugged. 
uh, death from above. At 33% health remaining, he activates every last weapon of his arsenal. The mountain crossbows on the walls in, uh, inflict 72 damage on a random player every second. All right. Well, do I want to bring him in here? Or should we just try and fight him over there? Or? I guess we'll, just, we'll, we'll bring him to the part of the room where the blades aren't shooting. Uh, maybe see if we can hit in the by them. You say it by them, otherwise the guide would probably say that. Yeah, usually bosses are immune to their own mechanics unless it specifically says otherwise. Like how the said the gazer can be harmed by his own pulses. Alright, right, uh, ready? You are not the first to challenge me, Yeah, you are the first to Resuscitate him. Does anyone want See, uh, I, I would say, oh, well, not resin, you won't do much, but uh, I'm fire mage is starting to burst out of its fucking shell because I'm out there, I'm uh, oh, constantly hello. out DPSing jazz problem bosses finally, prior to them being like third place. Uh, does anyone want an int dagger? Because I got one and, you know. Let's see, do a tank want mastery in crit or mastery in haste? I guess the mastery Fail in way. haste is good. I hope to see you again soon. Oh, I can finally get a good level bow. Anywho, I'm level 38, which means I have pain suppression! I'm level 37, which means I have, uh, nothing actually. Suppression. Gift of the Ox is until 38. It's, it, it's, it, it's like a defensive cooldown, except for I can use it on other people. Random note, where are the cloth users, uh, various, uh, feed equipment? Or lack of? Because <laughs> my boxes don't wear shoes. Uh, wait, me I don't wear shoes. I don't have shoes. More or less, I'm asking what your feet slot is, or the cloth users, anyways. AK or other and then... so it's... Also, I'm gonna be AFK for just a minute. Alrighty. I'm 42, so. Guessing yours is fine, Rodder. Oh, mine is kind of fucked at 30. Mm -hmm. or 30. Okay, uh, here, uh, tell me what this does for you. And, uh, uh... Like 100 wrist slot appearances. 
Fashionista wrists obtained. Not bad. That was a lot. Decent selection of wrist, uh, decent amount of uh, leather uh, transmog options, I suppose. Mine are like 43 or 42 or something, or 41, uh, high enough that it's uh, not a big deal for me to pass on it. Yeah, that's the final piece of gear that I need that was green on me. Mm. Well, I guess. Oh, dang, oh, it's yeah, really yeah. late. Uh, I lost track of time. Oh, yeah, it is. Holy shit. Uh, yep, yeah, that is pretty late. Pain okay. suppression okay. is... The, the number of times when pain suppression would have just saved our asses is huge. 40, uh, reduces all damage taken by a friendly target by 40% for 8 seconds. Castable while stunned. 3 minute cooldown. That's... Uh, castable while stunned? That means you could have saved me from the, uh... Death by stun a moment ago. That dungeon. Think about all the moments where I'm just going to like, I can't heal, out heal this, and remove those moments. Alright, so I'm still FK, but any cloth armor you have that you don't want, if it's bind on equip, just give it to me. Because I can put it on my mage. Someone's learning to love mage, it seems. And, again, AFK. I do like arcane mage, especially since it's got some pretty solid uh, AoE and stuff. But I need to. I do like Fire Mage as well because it's so bursty. Heard that uh, Arcane is the best at uh, leveling, and then Fire tends to be the better at high level stuff. I've heard that but... Ice is still. Uh, Frost is the best in for leveling. Although I guess on it. I did try it, but if we're blunt, I found it really, really boring. And I figure, well, that's probably enough reason not to uh, bother with it. Now, isn't it? Now I have, I have, ever since I hit 60, I did go back to give it another go, but I still honestly kind of found it the most boring of the three specs. So I figure, yeah, I'm, I'll be fine sticking to fire and arcane. Yeah, fire, now with hitting these recent levels, Blood fire is finally, uh... Fire is definitely a late bloomer, I think. Yeah, because now on single target boss, like uh, the boss DPS, I'm out damaging Jasper now. When Jasper is almost oh, always on top. It's almost surprising what you do, uh, how much it helps when you have uh, three charges of upgrading what your crits. I help you with? Mm, yeah. Yeah, and I'm gonna be able to bed in like 20 minutes, so that's all. Yeah. Uh, I think we've done enough for tonight. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I agree. I think tonight's pretty uh, solid. Strength and honor. We've got eight levels. Eight, yeah, eight levels pretty good. Plus, we haven't do this in a long, like next week or whatever. That's we'll probably hit Shadowlands content, and for better uh, for worse. We're, we're like, uh, still, still always away from that, but it would have bit. to be like two sessions like this to hit Shadowlands. But still. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we can worry about that work. when we get there. As, as stupid as it is, I actually did kind of enjoy. Uh, Spamming Shadow Man in that one <laughs> against that one guy we ha kept having trouble with for the walk back with obnoxious. Yeah, I agree oh, there. Oh, the uh, guy right. that just like, oh, you're all stunned. No one shot the tank. Yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, he wasn't one shotting me. It's the the issue is my stagger. The point of my stagger is to give the healer more time to heal off any burst damage the he does to me, but since we're all stunned, that couldn't happen. And so it was basically just a really, really powerful dot at that point. That neither uh, of us could cleanse or I mean. that he literally went uh before before anyone in the party was unstunned, he went over to you and hit you for forty percent of your health. Yeah, though granted, but like I said, level seventeen pants at the time probably did me no favors. <laughs> but yeah, my yeah, gear it's stupid that that's a thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, no matter, all my gear is up to date now. Oh, so I think from here on out we should be in pretty solid shape. At least as far as tanking goes. And damage, I think, is only getting any better. Considering I went uh, going from the bottom of the uh, boss DPS to the top. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty, pretty big change. Yeah, whenever fire gets lucky with the crit procs, you can really melt things, fittingly. And I love it. 
Well, I went from having a like a 13 second cooldown or something like that on Fire Blast to an 8 second cooldown with 3 charges. Or 8, point, eight, and, eight and a 3 quarter second, whatever. Yeah, Fire has it's a lot still of a really big nice change. Hat. That and combustion, uh, I got I got my rhythm down with combustion. It's like, oh, combustion, uh, do abilities and then use your instant cast stuff to quickly upgrade to a crit and throw a fireball right. or a power blast. All right. Well, if you want to do another session like this, you just need to let me know ahead of time, and I can uh, fit my, try and see if I can fit my schedule around it. It's not too hard to fit fit around my work schedule, but my uh, class schedule I might need to be careful with. I'd mostly just taken a bunch of night online night classes to try and finish, try and upgrade my degree here. And I guess we're done for tonight. Yeah, I think that would be best. Ryder and NK, and still, I'll take all that. I'll take all that juicy, juicy cloth armor. Uh, I don't really have any. That's true. Really I, I everything that I've had uh, was an upgrade, so. Yeah, and uh, anything that I got that was decent, even a, even a small upgrade, I gave it to uh, either K or uh, right. uh, Rod. So. All right, well, thanks for taking me along, guys. Is I was more than happy to be the tank. tank. If we yeah, I'm definitely. Uh, this is like the last week I was getting fire mage uh, go for potentially trying to hop something else, and uh, it's uh, at least uh, has finally. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Out, yeah. yeah, what you went through is basically what I did when I went through Fire Mage. It was really, really boring until it, start, until it started hitting mid-30s. Then it started getting really, really fun. And no coincidence that you also get around two to three stacks of your Pyro Blast. Not Pyro Blast. The, or the uh, uh, Fire Blast. Fire yeah. Blast right there, yeah. It was it's nice like, wow, I level. can actually get crits. Yeah. Like, like, the first 10 to 15 levels are kind of not all that great. Yeah, and Wage is definitely a late a, bloomer. At level 30, we get, or 20 and then end up 30, it starts becoming really fun. Mm -hmm. Alright, thanks guys. Let me know if you're up to one of these again. I'd love to do more. Yeah, I'm sure Jasper will probably... Jasper seems to be the one that drags into figuring out when people will be doing it, so... It's basically, hey Rodderin, when's the next time you're off? Hey Rodderin, next Wednesday. Well, I actually have, uh, technically, we could do it tomorrow, but I think I would go insane. Also, uh, right. Yeah, Outrider is the most coming up tomorrow, I'm not going to be saying that a lot. So, I think that tomorrow should probably be, uh, try to get Stellar the, a couple of, uh, a couple of eye levels so that I can convince Kriv to let him, uh, let him into the raid. I, I would rather do... I could I'd look at your raid, do some guys. I'd mythic shit uh, or do that point because, uh, yeah. Oh, good luck with the raids. I, I'm probably just gonna stick to some for my uh, main. I'm probably just gonna stick to some soloing stuff. But I would have less issues with the raids if they were more the hazard. If if I my problem with uh, WoW is like oh AOEs and hazards and stuff is they're not remotely clear compared to something like Guild Wars. Yeah, I feel like the 14, yeah. Are, are honestly like they they feel a lot better than the dungeons do, uh, for that kind of thing. Mostly because it's just, like you're you're fighting one enemy for or like a couple of enemies for like four minutes straight, so you have more than enough time to get your bearings. Whereas in dungeons, it's just kind of all over the place. True. I should probably yeah, try some of the easy. If you look at the Shadowlands dungeon that you have to do at level ten. When you go through the starter island, it's been updated to have all the like, all the area attacks are clearly marked out. But apparently, it's not like that in any of the dungeons. Weird. Well, uh, well, I do think I should probably try. At least, I think I should probably try at least some of the easier raids. I mean, not Mythic Plus or anything like, but you know, just kind of get ex get a feel for how Warcraft handles its raids a bit better. Because I can watch all the videos I want, but that's nothing compared to experiencing it. You know. I'm not gonna do anything major though. I'm f trying to avoid being too hardcore because I'm not sure I. I'm not sure I feel about that at the moment. But we'll see. Mostly I just don't want to make any commitments when I don't know if I'll be able to follow through. That's why I'm yeah. good for stuff like this, but not so much for the mythic rating where it's definitely gonna be a heavy commitment if I do that. Heroic. 
I'm not I'm sure. Heroic rating. The mythic is a step above. Yeah, the only rating I've done is Final Fantasy XIV's rating during Stormblood, and that was a while ago. And those I've raids are I've different. never done any rating of any kind. The goal is to get you into this, though. Yeah, because the closest stuff I can really compare to that is doing high level fractals, and that's not really quite the same. It's, yeah, no, it's a bit different. but like, when we were doing stuff like Duoing Mama, there's a lot of stuff that was pretty similar in terms of our thought process of like, okay, this ability is up, we're gonna do this in response, and then we just need to do it right and not fuck up. Yeah, that's a constant. Yeah, I remember how some like, fun of those most fractal bosses were. Yeah, I've heard that mythics are pretty much like higher level fractals. I've heard people compare it to that. Uh, Mythic Plus is like uh, Mythic Plus dungeons are like that. Uh, rating is different. All right, well I'm gonna sign up for now. Thanks for having me around, guys, and be sure I'll let me know whenever there's one other man. Uh, thanks for not yelling at me for uh, for getting to heal it in you uh, repeatedly. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. Uh, hey, thanks for not getting mad at me for pulling way too many people at once. <laughs> or, I don't think that much to, like that. to happen. I only having like, for how many much many pulls there were, with all oh, that many dungeons, there was that didn't happen too often, at least. And we actually survived, I think, all of them, didn't we? Uh, not all uh, of them, uh, almost. One, two? One was the beginning of the Mogu Palace, we didn't survive, but it was also the very start of the dungeon, so no one cared. Yeah. I also didn't... Didn't, couldn't really gauge how tough each enemy was, so sometimes I pulled smaller than I could have when I could have gotten a few more and we wouldn't have been in too much danger either. Still gotta get used to tanking. Uh, tanking in a other game. This is a bit less uh, complex than the way it handles in this game, or at least comparatively. I know really old one. Uh, tanking is, can get pretty complicated and to the point that's basically the whole party's job to control aggro. Alright, well, now I'm gonna head off. Uh, for, thanks, guys. Uh, see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>